have little overalls. How cute. Black contrasted <laughs> short dolls. Ah, because it's not pants, they're shorts. Fair. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is a one like a suspender skirt that I got, but it's Hello Kitty and Strawberries. Oh. See that's cute. That, oh no. That's cute. But it's not gonna match my <laughs> glorious new thing. <laughs> glorious new thing. <laughs> a glorious new thing. Oh, they have like an Ursula skirted swim bottoms plus size. Oh, that's so weird. It's like a purple shimmer kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> Hello, like, welcome, e welcome. <laughs> Talking about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna raise my thingy just to. Okay, just let me go over here to the Abba. Twitch. Hello, Abba. welcome. <laughs> Little clover, <laughs> it's attached to me. Ah. 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 Should I put thing. it in my mouth? No, I try to put it on the top of your head, and I'm like, no, let me be nice. <laughs> I have a little clover on the top of my head. Hey, the ferns. Come on, let me put this on. This on. This on. <laughs> Oh no. I'm like shopping for skirts because I want to be pretty. And I am scrambling <laughs> to put things online because, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, Green and black grid plated skirt all. Skirt all? What the fuck? Skirt all. Skirt all? Skirt all. Oh, skirt all. No, it's a skirt all. Uh, but together. <laughs> okay. Right? I think it's cute. I think it's too plat. Like, it's, it's not even plat. It's like a grid. I can play X's and O's. Mm -hmm. X's and O's? X's and O's. Well, at least this one comes in my size. The ugly skirt comes in my size. All the cute ones do not. How dare. It's a heart one. I lace up. No. White skirt's all stained. It's not even funny. You just look at them funny and they'll just like, ah, I stained. <laughs> just, <laughs> ah. just like scream a little bit to themselves and then they stain. This is all they have for plus size model? How dare. It's not, I'm not even true plus size. I'm like the smallest plus size. It's like, like a petite. I'm a petite plus size. <laughs> It's true though. And like the in between. It's not exactly small, not exactly plus size, so I can't actually find anything. It's that it's that in between, yeah. Very, very awkward in between. I know, and like everybody already buys up the normal plus size. Like the smaller plus sizes, so it's like mm. Mm. Let's save some for the rest. <laughs> Maybe. Everybody should make more. But right? It's like not everyone's a fucking... Especially... Alas. Also, I am sorry, I am like scrambling to- I swear I am trying to get yeah, everything yeah, done right now. You like didn't finish your, your voice, you were just like, is and... and... and alas. Alas, what? <laughs> Sound like glip. <laughs> Stop with the spinning, man. Spinning's not cool. Spinning, spinning is toxic. We're not like that anymore. I'm <laughs> Mr. Frog, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> Hello, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> but I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's just that the delivery is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Hello, I'm not sorry. <laughs> No, but I'm not sorry. Uh, we've been watching the final space. Yeah. Uh, thank. I'm thankful that I'm finally watching it. Thank you for for watching it first and just be like, yeah, it's good. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm already on season two, but Carrie's only on season one. But I restarted and watched it with her. I know what happens. Do you want spoilers? No. No spoilers. 
<laughs> it's in space. It's in space. <laughs> there's a cat. <laughs> but is it final? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> right? It's a good show. We can't talk about spoilers because can I have man. I have but... not seen all of it yet. We're like on... We're, we were about to start episode 6 or something? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like on episode 10 of season 2. That's oh, as far as I got. Before... Yeah, but yeah well yeah, because I binged it all day while you were away. <laughs> and then when you came back, I was like, finally, come watch this show with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start again, don't worry, I'm not that far. <laughs> oh, but it's a good show. I wish, like, we saw it sooner. I know! But... I, like, I remember when it was, like, first released, and I was like, oh, this does look good. And then, um... Well, no, 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 no. First it was like, oh, okay, another, another show trying to hop on the Rick and Morty space thing or whatever. But... Yeah. When it turned out that, like, a person that I follow, who is a storyboard artist, it, they were, like, really praising the show and, like, how the- it's- it- 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 um, like, what do you call it? Pleasantly surprises you. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give it a- I'll have to give it a look. Yeah, because I was getting tired of the- the way the jokes landed in Rick and Morty. Uh, yeah, I'm like- And I was no. like, another adult space one? I can't wait. Sarcasm. <laughs> Sarcasm. So I didn't pick it up for like the longest time. Yeah. And then looking for something that I needed to binge while I was working, I was like, I guess this will do. And then I stopped working and started watching that. And I was like, oh no. Oh no, don't tell me that. Oh no. <laughs> Genius. It'll be a good ride, if we are disappointed with the ending. It, right. I mean, it's already a good ride, and it it was like, not even All two episodes- <laughs> Not even two episodes in. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I don't know. It was like, we were like on episode two for season one, and I'm like, wow, look at that. Fucking more lore and emotional attachment to these characters oh. <laughs> than an entire seven seasons of Stupid Universe. <laughs> <laughs> it had more lore in its two little episodes. <laughs> it did. That's why I, when I watched it, I was like, "Oh, this is this is better than Steven Universe." Let's go. It did the same. I, it, even if the ending is total garbage, if even if I'm like disappointed in how it ends, it's a lot better. <laughs> it's still a lot better than fucking Rick and Morty too. Like it, it didn't start we developing. Didn't watch the new season. No, it's. I, I refuse to watch them. I'm like, uh. Because I know we watched a few of them, and then it was like, this is more of the same. And I get a little bored of, like, all of the the curse words they like to spew. Because, like, it was charming in season it, one. <laughs> it was funny for, like, a, a few episodes, and it's like, okay, we get it. It's an adult show. <laughs> it, it was okay for, like, season one and two. Mm -hmm. And then it just got like tedious, and I'm like, mm, this is this is not for me. It just kept getting because wilder and wilder, and I'm like, can we not? Yeah, it, it, I think that shows like more shock value, like yeah. for the shock value. Oh, of course. And this one, it it does have like shocking moments, but but they know it's... how to how to time it is the thing. They they have yeah. really good timing with their. <laughs> With their moments. It's like the, the joke setup and the timing is really, really good. E. Which is appreciative. Because, like, then you're not constantly barraged with, like, death and more curse words. Oh, death. And you kind of start to, like, care for the characters. Mm hmm. Did Beth die? I guess that's the recent the recent season that I, Beth's dead. Probably so. 
the... But don't they usually die, like, all the time anyway, and they still get, like, cloned back? Right. Wasn't that, like, a thing, or did they not do Beth? Or it did was they... just, uh, Morty. They perma-died. <laughs> perma-death. <laughs> <laughs> there is no perma-death. I mean, like, what was his name? Um... The bird? <laughs> the bird. Oh, fucking Birdman? <laughs> Was it Birdman? I think it was Birdman. It was legitimately Birdman. <laughs> His men there. That was the only funny one because Bat was like, Oh, I like this character. <laughs> we already knew what happened to the character. <laughs> We're like, Oh, uh, uh, here it comes. Oh boy. <laughs> here we're told our favorite characters always die. <laughs> That's right! At the end of the episode, she was like, No! <laughs> she didn't want to watch anymore. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to watch this no more. Her favorite character is always dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the long delay. <laughs> there we go. Did you get it? Yeah. I... Yeah. And now we're 11 minutes late, but it's okay because we are You're scrambling. Minutes late. I am sewing. <laughs> you are sewing. I'm, I am sewing with my poor hands that I woke up with them all cramped up. <laughs> A little crimped. Oh, they, were, they were. They were frozen. I'm like, oh, that's not good. Oh, no. And just... I had to, yeah, I had to shake him up. I was like, "Wake up, hands! Come on, <laughs> we're not do dead it. yet. <laughs> we're not dead yet. Like we still I'll have tell work you to. When you can die. <laughs> <laughs> we still have work to do. How dare you? I know. I was like, hey, "Excuse you. Who told you you can take a nap? And you like the copper braces or something?" Uh, yes, they work wonders. When I cramped up my hand from uh, cleaning up my car, the mm -hmm. the gloves came in to save the day, and I'm like, oh. oh. I have to do that to mine, because like, I, I put on my wrist brace for like 30 minutes right now, and like it instantly felt better, and I'm like, yeah, boy. <laughs> the tiger balm helps too, because I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my hand is crimped. <laughs> my, my hand is doing the cramps. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to get Tiger Bomb. I need to get the Tiger Bomb. Hey, Tiger Bomb. <laughs> I like... love that one video. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the one with the brothers. And it's like, they're like, Tiger Bomb fixes everything. Like, my shoulder hurts. And they got their mom in to do the video. She's like, here, Tiger Bomb. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. my, my stomach hurts for your ass, Tiger Bomb. <laughs> For your ass! <laughs> <laughs> Double D! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Those... You should put that there, but you don't know. <laughs> You'll never know. You, you, know, you never it's know. It's like Tiger is, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Asper cream. No, 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 no. It... Tiger Balm is for Asians, what Vapor Rube is for Latinos. Vapor Rube? Vapor Rube? Vapor Rube? Vapor Rube? But Vapor Rube is for Mexicans. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, technically, yes, because we have that shit everywhere. We put that shit on everything. Yeah. It's like, are you sick? You sick? Is that enfermo? Echale Vix. Echale Vix. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. It's good for mauling your face. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's decorative. I don't know if it is actually functional. It's good for mauling your face. It's good for mauling your face. <laughs> it's good for doing the little pickings. Oh, to pick the body apart a little by little. Or just to pick out the bones out your teeth. <laughs> can you, yeah? Can you imagine? That would be amazing. What? The sharp paws? It's sharp. probably what Lucio does. <laughs> Picks his teeth with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not just a I sudden, like, stop. Anymore. <laughs> stop picking your teeth. We're dropping. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I, have a, I have a little oxtail in my teeth. <laughs> oh, I want to make oxtail. It's probably soft. 
Ugh. Huggies <laughs> only had rice again. Oh no. I just had bread. <laughs> uh, bread? I like a little slice of bread. Because uh, sis made a, a st or attempted to make soda bread, but it came out too dense. So it's like oh, hmm. that's a rock. <laughs> she tried her best. She followed a recipe, and the recipe was a lie. I think bread is kind of hard to make anyway. You can easily turn it into a rock. So yeah, I think it's just our conditions of the house too, because we're very high humid place. And then uh -huh. and this one likes to leave the AC on, so I don't know if that uh, yeah caused well, it. Now you're cold and wet. So. <laughs> I'm cold and wet. <laughs> cold and wet. We're over here. We're like hot and dry. <laughs> uh, I'm actually cold and dry because this house is freezing. Ugh. Especially now since it's like, uh, what do you call it? It's no longer the dry season. It's the wet season now. So it's like. <laughs> Because we don't have summer, spring, and fall. You have a fall. dry season? We have a dry and a wet season. We don't have fall, <laughs> spring, or summer. Those are our seasons. Wet and dry. <laughs> I'm surprised you even have a dry. I thought it was constantly wet over there. No, during the winter, it sometimes gets dry because of all the... Because <clears throat> of the, the winds that come down through. <laughs> so all of that is dry air. Soda bricks. <laughs> soda bricks. <laughs> you gonna make soda... Make a house out of soda bricks. A house of soda bricks. A house of soda rocks. It was like a lump. <laughs> You're gonna make a house out of the the Superman's pet. <laughs> the little clay thing. The, the lump of shit. <laughs> the lump of shit. I can't believe that they're making another Puss in Boots. To be honest. I know. I was Amazing. like, what the fuck? I'd watch it though. I like the first one. The first one was okay. I like the first one. Th but that's also because I like the person boots. <laughs> Adorable. Fear me if you did. Never. Just the fact that Antonio Banderas is coming back for that, it's just like, mm -hmm. oh, it's jumping. even better. Because it's never actually the same when they get somebody that's, uh, sound like. Mm -hmm. That's what they did for, uh, Mushu in the Mulan 2. <laughs> oh no. They couldn't pay Eddie Murphy again, could they? That, nope, they couldn't. <laughs> they got... <laughs> what did... <laughs> They did it for the Kingdom Hearts, uh, the Kingdom Hearts games too, <laughs> and like, really? yeah, I remember Odie was playing. He's like, "That's not Eddie Murphy. That's Eddie Curthy. That's his understudy." <laughs> I'm like, <"No." laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get Eddie Murphy for the Mushu Pretty game. I, I'm pretty sure because it was like around the time he was doing other movies, so he probably couldn't like come in to do it if anything. So they had to get like um. An impressionist of him or something. Like, the actual official um, impressionist Fair. for Eddie Murphy. Fair, I guess. The animation is different in the Puss in Boots one, though. I, I like it. Just because it's... Right? It, it, fe it feels... Well, like, when we first saw it, I think the beginning... The beginning few seconds felt choppy. It, yeah, they tried to do that, uh... Like, that artisan kind of animation like almost like a claymation stuttering kind of <laughs> kind of movement but like the, the actual textures look really nice and upbeat from when the last did a puss in boots movie because mm -hmm. like so far the shrek movies have been all about like hyper realism and like trying mm -hmm. to apply it to this fairy tale land and it worked but it this one still feels like a shrek movie in in the sense that, like, it's just a little more painterly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think they finally, like, stopped doing those weird, uh, eyelashes. Th yeah. Which were upsetting. <laughs> Which were upsetting. <laughs> the, the fucking third, uh, was it the third movie? No, it was the fourth movie. Oh, and where they they got uh, all dolled up for uh, for a party or something, and they dressed up like uh, the the French uh, oh, powdered wigs fucking... and shit. 
Oh, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> like the was, that the, I was, the... like, was that the do the roar one? Yes! That was exactly the one! <laughs> The only one I remember is that single part with the kid just says, Do the roar. Do the roar. <laughs> Do the roar. <laughs> what else? Cause I know we saw like a bunch of trailers yesterday. I saw the um, Jurassic Park Dominion trailer. I am not even gonna bother with this, the fucking Jurassic World things. Ugh. Yeah. I was like, I liked the first Jurassic World, and the second one was okay, too. I never saw but this. But this third one was like... Well, the second one was like, fine. It was fine. It wasn't that great. It's not as good as Jurassic World, the first one. But it was mm -hmm. okay. But this one's like... The dinosaurs took over the whole world again. Oh, when they had, and they're just talking about how like they just, they disrupt the ecosystem, and it's like, uh, maybe you should have brought them back to life. <laughs> I, was like, mm, I guess. I mean, like they're not going to be sustainable after a while. They're just going to die out. That's fine. They're too big. They're too big to live in the ecosystems. But okay, <laughs> you go then. I guess that's true, though. Because, like, I'm pretty sure the only reason they existed in the first place was because of megafauna, so they technically are not gonna survive they, anymore. They are not. They're gonna deplete resources before anything happens. <laughs> ba yeah, basically, yeah. I still don't understand it, though. It's like, you should just... Don't you all have weapons? <laughs> exactly. They have weapons, right? They're not, like, iron-plated or anything. You, you can kill them. <laughs> The water ones are the ones that are going to be the hardest. No, it's it's just bad because PETA is in their way. It's like, these are anim animals. You can't kill them. You're those murderers. Are <laughs> the, are, are the, those like, the one that believed that the, the triceratops in that one photo was real? <laughs> <laughs> or was that some other lady? I think so. I don't know, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the picture with the animatronic triceratops from the very first movie. <laughs> How you killed such a beautiful animal and I'm like, that's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they posing with the trophy of a dead animal? That's like mm -hmm. when I, I went to the zoo one time and mm -hmm. we were like walking around and it was like um it was like a whole ass like crowd that we were going with or like they were following us or I don't know. But everyone uh -huh. was like moving in a group essentially, and fucking, we stopped in front of the the rhinoceros uh, pe pen, you know, uh -huh. and it was the zookeepers that were giving uh, the little baby rhinoceros a little bath. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I hear like this this child, this tiny little girl, <laughs> making a scene and whining like, that's not real. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? That's not real. Like her parents were like, "What do you mean? It's right there in front of us." She's like, "No, that's not real. Rhinoceroses or dinosaurs, and that's not real." I'm like, "Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> really, really building up my faith in the next generation." I see. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's not real. Ah! I'm like, it's right in it's front of you. I don't know what. She, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Is she believed that they were like, bathing a puppet or something. I, I CGI, guess you're right, little girl. It's CGI. It's, it's CGI right in front of your it's, face. <laughs> seems holograms. Bathing a hologram. The smaller was... ones probably would survive. They like, probably, the, yeah. like the, all the littler ones might do it, like the t smaller raptors. I mean, like clearly, look at the the fucking. You know what I would see though? I kind of would see that they would capture the smaller raptors, like the ones that are like the size of terriers, <laughs> and just keep those as house pets. I, I, I for sure, I see. I see some idiot doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I'd keep it as a husband. <laughs> Some idiot. Me. <laughs> Case in point. 
<laughs> Me, I know. keep it as a house pet. Penny, you can't keep that as a house pet. It's a carnivore. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> You're gonna, gonna end up like the the chimpanzee lady. Oh, no, 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 it's my mouse catcher. You can <laughs> sit in the barn. Mouse catcher. <laughs> you can eat all the rats at once. But stay out of my fucking chicken pen, mate. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be cute. I dress it up. <laughs> no. I'd put it in the little suits. Oh, Look no. at my cute little Yorkshire raptor. <laughs> Yorkshire raptor. <laughs> It has Ooh. like the the little Rottweiler, uh, the the Yorkshire Prince on it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I am the hypothetical idiot. <laughs> I'll be have I'll have like scars all over my arms and missing fingers and stuff. <laughs> be like it's okay, they grow back. <laughs> <laughs> they grow back. If we can clone a dinosaur, we can clone my fingers. It's fine. <laughs> We have the technology. We have the technomobile. <laughs> well, so the chimpanzee lady is like, uh... You, you tell the story. <laughs> oh, the, the chimpanzee lady is like a story from the 90s where this lady had a pet chimpanzee that she raised for a long ass time. And um, one day it just went crazy. Uh, either it was from like medication that it was supposedly taking or it was just having a bad day but um the chimpanzee went crazy and the lady that owned the chimpanzee was calling her friend to come over to to help her um get control of the chimpanzee or to calm it down i think mm -hmm. so the friend went over and as soon as she got out of the car the chimpanzee attacked and like tore off the face of the the lady, and they had to like put it down. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, it's, it's a poor thing because like everybody like knew the chimpanzee. Y yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Yeah. And like the it, you can find the, actually you can actually find the 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 emergency call online. Because they had posted it, of the lady frantically calling uh, 911 over the chimpanzee is killing her friend. The, yeah. And like the, the lady that got her face torn off survived. Thankfully. For a while. Yeah. For a while. She had a lot of surgeries. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. She, she yeah, died of complications. Yeah, she did. And um, that's like a whole thing. And. <laughs> It's really sad because I feel bad for like both ladies because like the lady had like this whole trauma thing because she had to like uh, try to get the chimpanzee off her friend and uh, she went and tried to stab the chimpanzee to get it off and like the chimpanzee was like a guess like why would you do this to me and it was so sad. It was really sad. Yeah. I want a pet dinosaur. Listen, learn. I I want a pet dinosaur. <laughs> listen, learn. I want a pet dinosaur. Yeah, I watch a lot of. I listen to a lot of Crew Tribe stuff, and like that one, I distinctly remember because it was a big thing in the nineties. It was horrifying. I was too young to remember that at the time, but when you told me, I was like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, like I did, I remember parts of it from when I was little, but um, because like I remember when it was happening. Ah, uh, or like I remember a show on it. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. Oh no, it wasn't even the nineties. It was early. Well, it was early two thousands. It was two thousand nine. Oh. oh god. Yeah, yeah, two thousand nine. So I, yeah, I guess you were still a little young. Or so. 2009, I was like, uh, let's see, it was six. Cause like, I remember this shit, but I thought it was way older. Yeah, no. But apparently it's not. No, 2009, it would be like in high school or something. Yeah, I, okay. I had not heard of that at all. <laughs> yeah, I remember this shit, but I thought it was way older. But apparently it's not. But yeah, you can hear the, the stuff that's on it. Cause like I'm on the I'm on the Wikipedia page right now, 
so I can see what it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Oh yeah, he was having a he was having a day because he was taking medication for Lyme disease or something. Oh. Yeah, this chimp was really, like, out of his mind at the moment. It was awful. The sedge. I'm a pet dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I still want a pet dinosaur. <laughs> I don't want a her before, I want the little raptor. I want it to <laughs> chirp at me. Like a, like a cat chirps at its prey. Yeah, exactly. Herbivores get too big. Too big fat. They get too big. I want the baby Get raptor. the little baby brontosaurus. Look at its big fucking neck. <laughs> Look at its big fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get too big now. Oh, that reminds me, speaking of dinosaurs, <laughs> I think uh, the second season of Primal is going to come out this year. <gasps> oh my god, I'm excited. Holy shit. Uh, right? Really wanted to watch more of it, and I was hoping that they didn't cancel it. I almost forgot about it. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I didn't forget about it. <laughs> It's like I, I was waiting. It's like in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, Primal was a good show, and then I totally forgot it was left on that cliffhanger. And I was like, oh. uh, technically, I did I did forget about it, but YouTube was recommending me like the videos again, and I'm like, oh, something's happening. <laughs> this something so I googled when season two was going to come out, and apparently, it's going to come out in the summer of this Ooh. year. So it's, it's one of those, ah, oh, this would be nice. <gasps> Watch Primal, it's super good. If you if you like Samurai Jack, you'll like Primal. Well, it's the same guy that's doing it. Exactly. But yeah, if you did like Samurai Jack, you'd like this one. Yeah. The only it's thing- It's got a it... lot of gore in it, though. It, it's a and lot it, of it's... action. It, it's a lot of action and like silent talking because, uh, the main character and like I guess the side characters except for the woman do not speak yeah because it's like it's it's pretty it's historic. a visual it's yeah but it's also like a visual storytelling so yeah it's the it's one that you will have to sit down and like pay attention to it it's not something you can like put it in the background but like, yeah. which is it's just fine because it's it's really beautiful yeah the animation honestly. is fucking stunning oh my god Seen episode one. <laughs> episode one, yeah, it's essentially like the same vibe. Similar vibe. Yeah. Cause like there's uh there's Samurai Jack and then there's the other one, the conclusion series of Samurai Jack. Yeah. Which uh, this one's more like the conclusion series of Samurai Jack. Because I think like the the other one was like more kid friendly and lighthearted. Oh of course. Cause it was like, oh, oh, we can't show blood. We gotta make the robot juices green. Yeah, boy. We're, we're... Well, that was like that was the point of when he did that. Cause he couldn't show blood, so he just made all the bad guys robots. So technically, it's not blood. <laughs> right. It was. It was so either I'll... like it was aliens and robots, and so it was like green blood and oil, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, boy, and eat shit sensors. And they actually, yeah. they actually make it a point in, uh... Well, that, that's spoiler, so I won't say. It's one of those, if anything, if you don't watch the original series, just watch the Aftermath series. I think it, yeah. it's fine. You, but you you'll will... get like a... You get lost a little bit, though, because it does bring back some characters from the original series. Yeah. Like, the Scotsman. The Scotsman is the fucking amazing. <laughs> the Scotsman is amazing. I fucking my love the Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, but the Scottish man is amazing. He's still amazing. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> it's like this fucking loud ass, like, uh, roughhouser of a warrior. He's like, it's like, wait till you meet the rest of my family. I'm the tame one. <laughs> 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 and it's like, oh boy. <laughs> I just love whatever he talks about his wife. It's the best thing ever. Like, bless oh, this man so much. The points of an angel. <laughs> there was an episode where he had to, like, fight off sirens or something like that. And he was, like, so immune because he loves his wife so much to the point that he starts insulting the sirens. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no effect on him. <laughs> <laughs> you call that singing? It's like, you call that singing? Now my wife, oh, she has the voice that angels envy. Birds could learn a thing about two from her lovely notes. While you, you got the sound of Kagaga Yak. <laughs> I can love him. <laughs> <laughs> and then you like actually finally see the wife and she's like this gargantuan loudmouth lady. <laughs> she's she's also the best, like holy shit. Yeah, she is. And it's like oh <laughs> It's like oh <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> she's just like talking shit through that whole episode too. <laughs> I love it. Because what was it? Like their their little clan is like ran by a like a like old Scotsman and like gay like where like a druid is like the head or like the elder of the clan or something like that. So uh -huh. <laughs> when he went to go fetch his wife, the druid like um appointed Jack to help the Scotsman or something. <laughs> so she's like what the hell took you so long? <laughs> it's just, it's like, but, but Muffin kicked the druid, said the druid, who listens to a man wearing a, a deer skull on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> like when they fucking got her, it was like, uh, what was it? <laughs> It's like, I cannot. It's like, you're gonna have to carry me out. It was like, why? You do not seem injured. I stubbed my toe and it hurts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we had to like carry her the whole way down, like all these flights of stairs. <laughs> and she's just like screaming the whole way down. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like she's being ungrateful, but it's like. <laughs> It's, the it's just the way they talk to each other. It's just the best thing ever. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> they walk into a room full of guards, and she's like, "Well, don't just stand there. Defend me." <laughs> <laughs> and fucking insulting them the whole time. It's like you call this fight, and <laughs> I've wrestled sheep more fierce than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, how dare us? It's only one episode though. It, yeah. There's plenty more. There's so plenty much more. more. That's where There's the... so much more. There's so much good characters in that show. Like, Aku is the best. <laughs> it's mannerisms. Oh. Oh, no one can play him like Mako. Oh my god. Bless. Rest in peace. And, and then even so, like the um, the stand-in did okay as well. Yeah, he did because he's also was the stand-in for uh, Iro, and it was like oh. the best thing to hear. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Mako had that like uh, that gravelly like voice that is very recognizable because he played a uh, he played Aku he played an, an and Uncle Iro. Yeah. And I don't remember if he played anything he, else that we were watching at the time, but he played a lot of shit. He played the fucking alarm clock from Tuck Tuck. Okay. <laughs> 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 I remember the one that goes like, ha ha ha. Happy cat says, wake up. You sleep too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Oh my god. It is the best when people made that connection. It was the best <laughs> fucking thing. Oh my god. I don't know what What else? I can't wait. I can't wait for the show. I can't wait for Primal. Because, like, the animation itself is, like, super He's good. Like, I know he has, like, the worst... He has the worst time running shows because they always cancel him early. I know! And it's, it's very upsetting because it's like, he is a very good visual storyteller. Like, holy oh, shit. Yes. Yeah, very much so. And, like, I know some of his other shows got canceled in their infancy. <sighs> or, like, three years or three seasons after they started, they get canceled. So they're not, like, long running, like, um,. Any other previous shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's always nice. Like, it, we got, or everybody that knew Samurai Jack got really excited when they allowed him to continue or, like, do a limited run series. Yeah. Of the ending of his vision. But it's just funny, too, because it's like he still made a, a long standing show because of, uh, a, like, like a Dexter's Laboratory. That was another good one. Yeah. But it but even then it was still one of those like it he was restricted by censors, so to speak. So it's like hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Champion. Well, it's true. I mean he did do that one oh like he actually had four seasons for Dexter's Lab. Yeah. I remember it was like really long running to the point where mm. he, when uh, they started doing more computer anim- It wasn't like when Cartoon Network was in that transition of from hand-drawn cell animation to computer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it was so funny that they had like an in-house episode where they couldn't actually air that one. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> they, they like to show that one at conventions a lot sometimes. I Since, remember. I, I, you can now see it on YouTube though. Yeah. That's the best. That's who I went. New episodes coming out is also the Super Pets. <laughs> Super Pets just looks nice. I'm a little upset they didn't use Streaky, but. I, I, I know. Like when 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 it came back to me yesterday, I was like, they forgot the cat, <laughs> but they, in they, the cat. they included a cat, but it's not it's not the same. It's it's not the cat. It's not streaky. Exactly. But I, I guess it's fair-ish. I think the cat would have been better, but the squirrel looks fine. <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> What was another one that I was surprised at? Oh, I think we talked about that one already, which was the Puss in Boots. No, I don't uh, think they're going to make anything else, right? Uh, animations? Other than bad guys or coming up soon, too. Oh, I like that one. I like how that one moves. I'm really excited for that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lightyear is coming out. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know if we talked about that one, but I really want to see that one. We have not. We've, we've talked about it off stream, but like, yeah. I want to see that one. That yes. one looks amazing. <laughs> What's it? You showed me the second trailer. <laughs> they, I love that they use Starman because, like, I love uh, David Bowie's Starman. <laughs> oh, same. <laughs> I was, like, really into the song and I'm like, there's a Starman. <laughs> <laughs> you try, you try to pull that over me. <laughs> I did, because you kept saying that one line over and over again. I was like, "Who sings that, Kelly?" <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> "Me." <laughs> it's like, like me. I sing it now. <laughs> I sing it now. Uh, you already know. <laughs> You're not fine. <laughs> 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 you died because it caught you off guard. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> this, is, this bitch. This bitch. <laughs> me. Oh, I'm singer you. now. I sing now. It's my song. It's my I got song. it. It's me. Thank you. <laughs> it's me. 
It's, it's me. It's me. <laughs> oh no. What else was there? Oh, oh! Today is a new episode of uh, Our Flag Means Death. Which <gasps> yes, I am I'm excited. excited for. I love I want to see what happens. I love that my dash is finally catching on to that show because I saw a gif a oh. gif set finally of Our Flag Means Death, and um, the it was a mutual that th they haven't seen it yet, but they're like, "Oh, I'm going to put this on my watch list." I'm like, "Please watch it. It's amazing." <laughs> I can't believe they made Blackbeard wholesome. I'm going to they pretend. Made, I know they made Blackbeard wholesome. He belongs in everybody's pocket. <laughs> oh my god, <sighs> so good. Poor boy, Blackbeard. He Poor deserves boy. better. <laughs> it's me. I'm the Kraken. I'm the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> you but can't talk about it though. No, I guess spoiler. spoilers. Massive spoilers. Uh -huh. So I was taking a sippy of my coffee because I, it's now lukewarm and I'm sad. <laughs> I finished mine and I'm sad. <laughs> uh, I'm just lukewarm. I, I'm dying. What we do in the shadows is a good show too. Like, oh my god, it's it's like the predecessor to Our Flag Means Death, but it's not in a documentary style. Mockumentary, I mean. <laughs> Mockument, yeah. It's just like a Rick Standard show. We just follow, uh, what do they call themselves? The Gentleman Pirate? Yeah, the Gentleman Pirate. <laughs> the Gentleman Pirate. Yeah, I think it's really neat. It's a good concept. Mm hmm. And everybody's like, a dunce. <laughs> oh no, everyone's dumb. Everyone's dumb. My favorite. Everyone's dumb. <laughs> You should, you should watch it. I, I want a season... What was it? Next season? Season, season three? Four. Or season four. Yeah. Season four. But I don't know when they're going to come out with it. They they wrapped up uh, filming. So it could be soon. It's very soon to be, in fact. like That's true. Because uh, like, there was a lot of like unanswered questions. Oh, yeah. For sure. And it, it just slept on something so sad. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I know. So mean. So mean. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know they're they're gonna have a blast because I remember uh, seeing the the Twitter for Guillermo's actor. Uh -huh. Like he he was like uh, giving like little tidbits and stuff, and it was like, oh, it's gonna okay. be good. <laughs> And the great part about it is like you can't pick a favorite character. I think they're all good. Oh characters. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Which is the best? Everyone is like such a unique character. It's just, it's just great. I want to see the the really oh, the movie. Yeah, the big fucking pilot of of the series, which is the movie. <laughs> Where Good. is that? Is that on HBO? I, I don't know, to be honest. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to check on my phone. We'd okay, we'd have to actually find it if we actually want to watch it eventually. What we do in the Shadows movie. Because I thought I had seen the movie, but I'm probably mixing it up. Because it follows the... You know, like when... Uh, the one vampire that was like on the little television that does the announcements and it's like the head like one of the head vampires for the, the international head, head council it stars those guys <laughs> that's what the movie <laughs> every time i hear like the head vampire i hear the <laughs> I, <laughs> I hear the villain mandy <laughs> the head head vampire <laughs> it's me it's like <laughs> And it's a uh, um, ten class wife. Yeah, <laughs> the head head vampire. The head head vampire. 
I picture back to the the Simpsons episode, the the Halloween, the Treehouse of Horror. <laughs> but I killed the head vampire. I'm the head vampire. I'm the head vampire. <laughs> I'm the head vampire. Oh, it's on Prime. That's why we can't find it anywhere. Oh, isn't Beth have Prime? She does, but I don't know if it's free to free to watch on Prime. Oh, we're gonna have to check on hers then. Yeah, I don't think it is because it's like rent. Yeah, because I don't want to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Next time. Next, maybe if we're lucky, that'll change to Netflix. Right. Just one of the other streaming sites. I would assume Avery that really hates streaming sites. Legit. Bismuth. It's abysmal. It's a little abysmal. What else? Oh, we were supposed to do that thing. What well, oh, in our pocket. Yeah, that's right. Um. Okay. I think I am. You're oh. the one that's drawing, so it's I know. I know. I'm like. I'm like trying to like finish this in time for that too. <laughs> Because I really want to do that, but I also have to finish this. Where is my... Where's my thing? <laughs> we need to look at the, the, the little bingo chart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be cringe. We're going to be 13 again. And we're going to talk about our... Our lovely interests and characters. Because cringe is dead. Yeah, cringe is dead unless you're an asshole. <laughs> and that's unless you're cringe. An asshole. And I will drag you for your cringe. Cringe only applies. Cringe only applies if you're a corporation. Oh no, <laughs> you posted cringe. Oh no, you posted cringe, Disney. <laughs> They did Disney's always posting cringe. Of That's course. what they get. That's why they're having walkouts right now. <laughs> yeah, boy. Solidarity. I like, yeah, I think they're like going back on that now. No, because I laugh at it because they're like, here they are funding the don't say gay bill, and yeah, then yeah. and then the bill passes, and it's not until after the fact that they send an official apology when. During the whole fiasco, a lot of employees, a lot of fans, and a lot of like people oh, like yeah. on both sides were calling Disney shit out. Like literally like, like I'm surprised they actually backed that um that I'm not surprised. Because, well, I'm I'm partially surprised because I know like they hold um special events for that community and shit. Of course. And it's like um but that's all it is. It's it's what um, yeah. It's just a, it's just a, a public cash demonstration. Grab. Yeah, a public demonstration cash grab kind of thing. And it's like I'm I'm not surprised. I'm partially surprised, but, but I'm not surprised. It's literally like they they just want to grab like the, especially the younger generations. Uh, LGBT mm -hmm. community money because as that's that's all it is. It's fucking like here. We're gonna slap a rainbow on Mickey Mouse. You better fucking buy it I don't like Mickey Mouse You know which ones I want but I can't have because they're not in this Disney Huh? So I'd have to go overseas. I want the bunny <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh no that's The only thing that I want is I want the bunny and then I never want to look at the Disney parks again <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's fair I enough. Think they, I think they only like sell them in the the Japan one. Yep, the Disney Parks Japan, and it's a little bunny, little gray bunny. Because like they have, um, they have the mascot that Disney doesn't use here. The Oswald. The, no, no, Duffy and oh. friends. You know, Duffy the Bear? Duffy the Bear. 
No. Oh my god. Like, where are you? Where have you been? I've been linking all this shit. Is it the it one that you kept sharing? It's, it's yeah, the one you kept sharing. Okay, okay, okay. It's the gray bunny. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I didn't realize that was the name. <laughs> no, no, Duffy is the bear. Oh, okay. But the gray, the gray bunny has a different name that I don't remember, but I want that bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Katoa, <laughs> and it's so cute. And sometimes they sell them with outfits because they want to, like, they want to get that build a bear crowd, and they're successful because I want the, the bunny, and I want an outfit for the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I never want to look at the parks again. It's like, okay, you got my money. The never, don't talk to me. Don't follow don't me. Don't talk. Don't follow me. I got my bunny. That's all I ever wanted. But I also want um, the. Um, it's not Disney parks or anything, but it's the other bunny from Sanrio. Oh yeah. There's several bunnies, but because there's Magic Melody, but there's also the Wish Me Mel, and that yeah. one, I like that one. And there was Look also the. Bunnies. The one that. That literally only had like one item for their character. <laughs> I forget what it was. Magic. It was the one Sanrio. that was like a, a wooden turn calendar. Oh, it was another- it was a different bunny. They had several bunnies. I'm a little upset that it's like, uh, that's the only thing that they have for that bunny. And yes. And then the surprise, the Karomi is actually a bunny. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was I like, was like, I told no, you no, it was it's bunny. not. It's a kitty. I'm it's like, no, no bunny. It's, it's a bunny. It's a bunny. I'm like, mm-hmm. No, you're lying to me. You can't fool me. You can't fool me. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> the Eddie line. You can't fool me. I'm too smart. <laughs> I'm too smart. And then he thought Cinnamon Roll was a bunny, but Cinnamon Roll is a puppy. Okay. It, it had big floppy ears and no doggy nose. It made no sense. Right. I think it would look better as a bunny, but you know, it's a puppy. We are, we are awful. We were all bamboozled. We've been bamboozled first by Chromi and now by Cinnamon Roll main characters. It's like, how could they? I'm already cringe. I got a purse at some McDonald's bag. <laughs> <laughs> the Happy Meal bag. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm, I'm a little too happy about that bag. <laughs> <laughs> It's like hee 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 hee. I got the happy meal purse. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> oh no. Could you? You could say you're loving it. And <laughs> 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 now I have to find an outfit so I can look okay while I wear my beautiful happy meals bag. But eventually, I just want to fill with happy meals. So give me your 40 nuggets, please and thank you. <laughs> I just want all of the toys. Please. I'm going to fill it with Furbies. <laughs> all the little fake Furbies. The little mm -hmm. modded Furbies. I have... Well, I don't even know if I still have it. A little plastic Furby. Like the, the ye old McDonald's Happy Meal Furbies from like back in the oh. late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, we had a bunch of those. Oh, we, we still do have a bunch of those. They're in a plastic bag somewhere. Same. I just don't know if we still have that plastic bag is the problem. <laughs> Doubt. Right. Uh, I, I have one on my old bag. It's like a plush toy with like a plastic clip. Oh. This because I love them. If I didn't love them, I wouldn't collect. <laughs> this sparks joy. This yeah, they, it sparks joy. I wish like the new Furbies that they did were like the old ones, but they made it so clean. Oh, because like the old ones would like copy your voice. Or learn words as you talk. Kinda sorta. Oh shit. And it would like repeat your words back to you or whatever. 
And these new ones were okay, but not great. Mm -hmm. Cause like uh, you needed like the phone app. It was like that era of you need the phone app to make it work. How about no? <laughs> I was like, you know, it'd be nice if I didn't have the phone app and you made it exactly like the 90s, except with a new streamlined look. Right. That would be nice. But they never do. Ugh. And they wanted to make it like for phone apps and shit. And it's like, no, eh. thank you. I never actually got the app. <laughs> because that's a waste of my time. Did you? Like, why would I? It's like, no, thank you. No, no. Panda no here for this phone app. It's like I have no time for it. I d don't want to. Thank you, though. Thanks. <laughs> A phone app. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I kind of don't like the toys that require a phone app. No, because it's fucking garbage. It's like it's no, you ain't garbage. You ain't collecting my data. Sorry. <laughs> you're not collecting my data. Go away. I know your game, Magic Man. <laughs> you know your game, Magic Man. <laughs> Legit though, like there, there's no fucking reason for it. Like I know Lego tried to do that too with blind boxes and a phone app. <laughs> nope, you can't. And <laughs> you can't fool me. Like the phone out was totally garbage. We didn't actually get it, but like the actual toys inside were pretty neat to collect. The only problem was they were expensive. Ugh. So it was one of those we just bought one and then never again. <laughs> yeah, it's like <sighs> because we like to collect the little blind bag things. Oh no. What? No, I accidentally cropped the thing. Oh, <laughs> it, gl oh no. it, it glitched on me and I'm like, nah! It's over. Goodbye, Pinocchio. <laughs> Goodbye, Papa. <laughs> when will I be a real <laughs> Father, when can I go out on my own? <laughs> oh. I simultaneously like it and hate it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I like it because it's funny. <laughs> I have a whole world to see. I have a whole world? I'm so sorry. I, I still don't like it because the acting is bad. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. But it's also... It's just really funny because it's also the guy that voiced uh, the extremely the extremely goofy movie. It's the... It's Max's redhead friend. Really? Yeah, that's the same voice actor. <laughs> I'm not really? even yeah, I'm not even joking. It's the same voice actor. <laughs> Were you today years old? <laughs> same guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm googling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same guy. And like everyone is losing their shit over it. I'm like, how? Did... Like you can? It's it's right there. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Yeah. I'm not even joking. It's the same guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> what is this actor's name? Oh fuck! I don't remember. Um, I, I don't even remember the fucking uh, the character's name. I thought it was just Pinocchio. <laughs> well, I mean the 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 Goofy movie one. Lionsgate. I, you know what? It would be easier just to do the Goofy movie. The Goofy movie uh, cast. Uh, Goofy Max. Is it Bobby? Is it that one? It's the one with the that always wears the sunglasses. Uh, Goof Troop Bobby. I think it's Bobby. Yeah, it's Bobby. 
All right, so that is him. <laughs> Where are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Was I right? Like. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> the actress is Polly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I am today years old. I am today years old. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> now I kind of want to watch that movie <laughs> just to see the tragedy of it. Yes, <laughs> I just want to judge it on its voice acting skills. Because <laughs> like, he wasn't bad as Poppy from Troops. So. It's like what happened? <laughs> what? what happened? He's <laughs> doing the Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no, I was today years old. <laughs> Everyone was like losing their shit. Like, you can't tell me that this is voice acting this. <laughs> it's because the voices are too different. <laughs> it's the, what's the, <laughs> the Patrick Stewart gif acting? <laughs> uh, acting. <laughs> Just gonna start screaming. Yeah. You're really acting. It's like, yeah. It's like the. It's, it's like the. What, our flight mate's death. <laughs> he has the range, darling. He has the range, darling. <laughs> He's got the range. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Good on ya. Good on ya. I wanna watch it. We should watch it. Oh no. When does it come out? Uh -huh. I don't even know if it might come out now because it's a Russian movie. That's right. And, f and fucking everyone and their mother is like, being They're xenophobic like, yeah, and just true. like banning things. <laughs> it's true. Let's see. When does it come out? Oh, they they rated it super low. So <laughs> <laughs> let's see. English, it legitimately English. gives me like um, never happily never after vibes. <laughs> Oh, definitely. I don't know when it comes out. It said it came out in 2021, though. Oh, shit. Oh, but that's probably the first projection of it. <laughs> the Russian one? Yeah. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, a true story. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, Pinocchio. Release date, USA. March 22. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy! It's not a theatrical release, so we're probably gonna get it on the streaming sites. Hey, you boy! So that's pretty good. There's a lot of places that are doing um, Pinocchio-based stuff, because there's also the one that Netflix is doing. Mm-hmm, with uh, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, which I want to see, because he is amazing. Legit. I want to see his older works, because uh, the I really want to see... His movie Kronos? I, Kronos. I was told that was good. I haven't seen that one either. It's like a cosmic horror. It's on it's on HBO. Ooh. Oh, we should definitely watch that one then. When I'm not sewing. D yeah. <laughs> and I can actually pay attention to a psychological thriller or whatever it's gonna be. Yeah. When we when you come back from the con we'll we'll watch it as a treat. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I can heal my hands in ice water. <laughs> Just sit and watch a good movie. Will I soak? I'm like doing the last of the years right now. Yippee. Which I was gonna do him last night, but I was kind of like teetering into sleepiness. Oh, same. I was dying yesterday. I was like, <laughs> I have to do these color fucking things, and then I'm like, eh. Not this, it was the, the logo work. 
Oh, was, that's right. And I was like, I can't look at I this like, anymore. <laughs> I want to watch Final Space. <laughs> I want to be final and be space and be cringe. What else can we spoil? It's old. That everybody hmm. should have seen, but nobody has actually seen. Uh, the... The Hobbit movie. The the 1980s animated Hobbit movie. <laughs> I don't even remember that when I phased out. <laughs> I just know there was a lot of singing. The greatest adventure. It's like the, it came on every five minutes. Um. <laughs> we were like, if we ever watch this movie again, we have to make a drunk... Uh, a drinking a game out of it. There you go. <laughs> take a shot every time they start with that same song. <laughs> Same song. I do like the animation though because it kind of reminds me of the the last unicorn one. Yeah. I really uh, think it was by the same people that animated it. Probably. I want to know why they didn't just get somebody to play the dwarf in the last in the, in the in the last of the trilogy of the Hobbit's journey of the Hobbit, <laughs> they had to go CG. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because of reasons. I mean, <laughs> look what's I, happening. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's because of um, probably budget cuts. It was cheaper just to do CGI than to do like whatever that. Uh, the Lord of the Rings did for all its three trilogies. Oh, of course, yeah. Which was that weird perspective. Y yeah. And filming twice. That's a mention. That's I... what they did with the the original parts. Yeah. Yep. That's a mention. I think like. Uh... It wasted no, no, it all yeah, you're... A what? It wasted it all on the CGI smock. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> and getting Cumberbatch. Cucumber bat. Uh, oh. Hold on. I have one more detail to work with. Writing file. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> I can't wait for the convention. But that's because I like to walk around to see if I like any of the merch. Hey, you boy. I do. I'll abandon my table and walk around. Yoo-hoo! The pen is gonna wander off. <laughs> it's like, Panda, no! That's my favorite part. It's like to go to the other artist's tables. And then to go into the dealer's den to see if they have any of the figures that I want. They never do, but Aww. it's always good to look. Just in case if I do find it. <laughs> because it's the, the Demon Slayer figures. They never have like they always have like the same ones. Uh, yeah. And I always try to look for the really nice dynamic ones. Oh yeah, like the the, the really like the ones that we saw in the video the other day. <laughs> yeah, like those. Or then it's so things that are similar. And, um, like, I know they're not going to have any of the Hashiras. Because, uh, especially, what's his face? Because he's too new. Uh, yeah. Or at least for the, for the Western audience, for sure. That's why he's, that's why he's too new for us. So we're not going to actually find any figures there. But I'm hoping this time we'll find Rengoku figures, which I doubt, but... <laughs> Oh my! Oh my! But it's always good to look. Yeah. Okay, here we go. But I... it's gonna be weird because I think a lot of people are just gonna be there for the voice actor of Dolores. It, yeah. Which was surprising that you guys got. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> when you right? told me, I was like, when? <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I looked at it and I was like, hello? When did we get this one? This guest to come? <laughs> it was the voice actor of Dolores is going to be there. Well, besides, like, um, I think they got 
the voice actors for the English version of um, what's the fuck that anime's called? Uh, My Hero Academia. Oh yeah. I think that's the one with the green-haired boy, right? Yeah, that, that's my hero academia. <laughs> okay, yes, that one. I don't read that one. I don't read it either. I don't but watch it either. Bunch of, I don't watch it either. But they, they've got a lot of the voice actors for that one. Oh. And Happy from Fairy Tale, and I don't recognize the other voice actors. So it's like I got nobody to go see, but that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's all fine. So let me see. I think the last time, well not the last time for this one, but like yeah, the last last time, they had... They had Uncle Iroh. Oh, The... The her... actual? No, he's dead. <laughs> oh no no no, you mean the, the, the replacement guy? Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> he's dead, silly. The other one. It's the other one. The other one. I thought you were talking about like a, a past, a really bad, a really past no. con. No, 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 no. It was like this last year that they had uh, the replacement on Glyro there. Oh. And people went for that one. Of course. And like, um, he didn't take any requests that uh, requested him to say the, um, the soldier Aww. poem. Yeah. Because that was not him that said that one. Yeah, that was one of Mako's last recordings for Iro. Yeah, so like he kinda like refused to to do that one. Specifically. On but that was really neat for that they actually got him. <laughs> Himbo. <laughs> Himbo. <laughs> That's Himbo. all I wrote. I'm like trying to like get all the words in in place. Him. He and himbo. <laughs> himbo. Hold on. Eh? Eh? Let me see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. Why don't you just pull up the picture? Oh yeah. And but just... that, that that requires me going through my internet and then being laggy. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm doing it by scratch. And also <laughs> don't want to draw over all these lovely things. <laughs> one, fair, two, fair. Three, four, five, six, one more. Ten, Ten twenty, thirty, forty. Nineteen Zippy. forty. My face is horting. <laughs> <laughs> Soft. I am drinking. <laughs> I am drinking my coffee, and you're over here making me spit. <laughs> <laughs> you're an awful person. You're making you spit. <laughs> making me spit. You're an evil person. Some. Do not. Do not talk to Kaui. Kaui's awful. <laughs> Look at her. Look at me being being, being a nuisance. Yes. To me. <laughs> to me, the panda. <laughs> to, to me specifically. <laughs> to me specifically. <laughs> How dare she? Musical. Musicals. Hair. Me. Sure, okay. Hair. Hair. <laughs> That's what it says. I guess it's because <laughs> some of these uh some of these don't actually have hair. Oh, okay. No, I, I think that one we have to omit because I think all ours have hair. Uh, yeah, so I will <laughs> omit this. Uh, delete. 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 <laughs> Unless we replace it with like, something else. We can Redhead. <laughs> this is for me. This is specifically for me. Because <laughs> our, uh, our... Let's, let's go with the, the Himbo Soft, like the generic ones. Okay. There's Himbo Soft, Musical, Hair, Red, Pirate, and Smiley. <laughs> Smiley. I'm gonna I'm name that knife cat because that is a category. <laughs> the, the, true, true. Knife. Are what you else? also a knife cat? What else would be? Oh, I'm gonna I'm put Burly just in case or, or Bara. <laughs> Bara. Fair, fair. Okay. Vera.
What else? What else could be a good category for this? Hmm. Taking suggestions. Taking suggestions. Since we have himbo, soft, musical. I don't know if musical would count. Would musical Dumb. count? <laughs> Dumb. That, that's under himbo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but some of them are dumb but not himbas, and some of them are himbas but not dumb. This is true. This is true. Okay. Let me see. Eh. Oh, you can break down himbo. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> Just slap people around. <laughs> <laughs> Title it as stupid. As stupid. Hmm. What else would be a nice category? Hmm. I don't know. Shouldn't there be like um a, a, a... bastard carrot category? <laughs> Maybe I should put that instead of knife cat. <laughs> Probably. But let's say bingo bingo. I propose uh no um, bingo chart. Give me a bingo. <laughs> oh, they have the no, they have the girl version. Ugh. Where no, I want the. Where's bingo. the husbando version? <laughs> Give me the husbandos. <laughs> you boy. Alright, let's see. Okay, I don't like that one. Uh <laughs> I don't think we could do this one. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put loud. How about that? Long haired bitch, vampire, straight up murder, weep thirst, and tight titties, nerd, doesn't breathe. <laughs> No, I can't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say any of these. Oh no! Give me a good himbo. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, a daddy has no. Oh, no. We we can't put these. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can't put these either. Six three? Is that a himbo? Oh, cause they're tall. Oh, <gasps> why don't I put that tall? Tall. Well, not really, but mm. no, no, that won't work. Peace boy with baby face uses a lot <laughs> of baby face. <laughs> baby face. Okay, these people can't spell. So. <laughs> I can't find a good bingo chart. Everybody is like thirsty on main, and I don't want to look at it. <laughs> Tw Artist Twitter discourse bingo. Oh no. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> what can we replace? So far we have him. No, let's do the artist Twitter discourse bingo. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> okay. S send it over and then I'll just like... <laughs> let's do that. Let's just do that for the rest of the... <laughs> alright, alright. Let me... I don't know. I'll send it in to disc... I'll send it in Discord. I'm gonna put it in Astro's brain. Since it's clean right now. <gasps> Bumble just in time. <laughs> welcome. welcome, welcome, welcome. We're doing hardest, hardest discourse bingo. <laughs> the discussion thread of artist discourse bingo. Help us think of another category besides musical because I don't think it fits with ours. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a lot of, uh, this, this is a lot of discourse on this bingo card. Look at it. I just did decide to do it. Yeah, I told you we were gonna do it. Wait, hold on, I'm going on Discord right now. As is brain. Simposoft musical, bastard bara dummy. We're gonna start shit if we actually do the discourse. But right. No, I think we'll just start shit with ourselves. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Hold on. I am going to copy paste this and we'll do this one first while we think of a More of, of, of another it. category for this. Okay. Oh no, this wasn't on, right? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> wow. Just copy. Oh. <laughs> Here we. Just copy. Here we. You need a category to... like you know as a factor. <laughs> Can we have a Arcana fandom discourse bingo? 
<laughs> oh no. I think we got. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Would that be considered a category for us? Which one? The the one that Bumble mentioned. Oh, the one that we're not gonna say out loud? <laughs> exactly. I mean, it works for your characters. <gasps> not my characters. Mine has I, to be the one it. with the D. I picked it. Well, no, it could be translated to mature, if anything. Shh. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Sometimes people change it like that. So I'm like, hmm. people are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and so you could just say that you gotta be tall. Well, yeah, we tried that, but then we realized that Lucio is not tall, so. He's a baby. He's <laughs> a little baby man. It's his oh, birthday. No. It's his birthday! It's little... <laughs> hmm. No! I oh, refuse. No. I refuse. Because on one hand, we don't go... It's not that old that we had canon, these characters, but... Hmm. Hmm. They are not that old in my no. headspace. And I would refuse that head canon. Because some people go way overboard and it's like, Watch it there, your kink is showing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we, well, well, fabulous. Hmm. Fabulous. Maybe I so. I, th I think mine are sometimes fabulous and sometimes forest goblins. Uh. But where's he? <laughs> uh, that would be flamboyant. Fab. I'll just put fab. Fab. There we go. So there's that, there's that, and then there's also... Maybe case like, this we before did, I forget. We had... You know what? I'm gonna go to the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> the timeline I made up! Where I don't is... follow anybody on the fucking timelines. Okay, the oldest we made him was 38. Everybody goes way overboard with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, okay. Nadia we made 40 because technically she's older. Yeah. I think even like thinking about pull pulling that back a little bit because at this point it's like I don't care for the ages but for timeline reasons it'll just be that. Yeah because like the, the, only, the only thing that we had for them was that they had to adhere to the one post where it said who was older and who was but, the youngest. Yeah. But, but even... So if yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, because like the there's also like the fact that um, they never said how much older than each other there was, so there's a lot of like play. So technically, she can still be older than Lucio, but how it older is just our own head canon. So she could technically be, quote unquote, the same age, but yeah. a few months older. Exactly. Which is not true, because Lucio was born in January. <laughs> So technically, she the, the youngest she could be was 39. There you go. Our oh no. <laughs> 38, 37, 36. We have a whole timeline, sorry. <laughs> 35, 34, 33, 32, 30. So I'm a little confused. How do one. we do this bingo? Is it that we agree with it or disagree with it or... 30. I'm fixing our timeline. Oh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. But yeah, talk to you. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna color code us. Okay, color code it. I'm like still fixing our timeline because we now redconned Nadia's age, 18. Me neither. Panda just found it just now and we're like, okay, let's do it. 16 and then over here. Yeah, I did it. Thirty. Let's see. Twenty-five. And hoop. Nine. Twenty-eight. Thirty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Thirty-three. Twenty-one. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. One. So, Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. So I shall be discolor. Twelve. Eighteen. And then panda will be. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. I, I fixed our timeline. I had to. <laughs> To talk back. Oh. Yes. <laughs> My magnum opus. 
<laughs> Where's my body? Make me a your... little mollusk. What what color you want for color coding yourself? Red. Red or green? Okay. Hmm. Two distinct colors. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> Red. Okay. Red for rage. rage. Red for the rage I feel inside. Wait, do you want to do the bunny or do you want to do the panda? Uh, what do you, what would you prefer? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go let's like just do the, the bunny. Okay, let's just do the bunny. <laughs> Big ass eyebrows. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, who wants Beautiful. to go first? You go first. Uh, okay, so is it that we agree or disagree with it, or like, wh what is? I think is... it's either agree or disagree with it. Or do we hate it, or let's see, Bunny, uh... Bunny, <laughs> Bunny, <laughs> Bun Bunny. <laughs> I steal everybody's eyebrows. Artist Twitter discourse bingo. I guess it's if we agree with it. Okay. So uh, okay, all right. all right. So refs equals ref picks equals bad. That is bullshit. That's bullshit. I don't agree with that. Tracing equals bad. That I do agree with that. Okay, so Panda agrees. With that. <laughs> I agree with that. It's mostly because like you learn everybody's like bad habits. True. It to like, me this besides is... like the whole tracing is bad and you post it and saying it's yours, but it's also you learn people's bad habits and you become stiff when you actually draw or try to draw. Okay, so so I guess what we're doing is that if we agree with it, we'll tack it on as like a as a as a bingo or whatever. Yeah, because like Panda believes tracing equals bad. I, on the other hand, kind of don't think that because I learned yeah. a lot from from like. Tracing photographs and like chase tracing when I was See, a lot younger. It's, it's it's a lot of like it develops on the context kind of it, thing. But you also draw very stiffly. Yeah, that's the and that's the bad thing. So it's like where it's from, like when I use Pix as reference, I draw from sight. Yeah, You're more fluid. And it's and like, then, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and and with tracing, you need to learn how to trace, which the is not actually going from line to line, but going from um, putting boxes or cylinders yeah. in the form so you can understand how it is the way it is. That's there you like go. that's the other part of tracing, not like oh, I just trace this foot because I don't know how to draw feet and I refuse to learn. Oh, <laughs> also go forth, Bumble. Go forth. <laughs> Dude, I press reveal. Hello. Anyways, um, so like, I I think this is too broad, cause like tracing equals bad. <laughs> my, my eyebrows reveal. My eyebrows are actually they look like little dots. <laughs> if I shaved my like the rest of my eyebrows because they're really thin on the edges, I will have little baby dots. <laughs> little, like the. The, the the little Japanese like the little very tiny eyebrows. <laughs> Basically, yes. That's why I like to do huge dot eyebrows on all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I actually like it could do that to my eyebrows. To be honest, can it get you like a little little eyebrow makeup kit just so you can like Me? just become even more like <laughs> the true bunny that you've always wanted to be. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but um, I'll do an email. <laughs> <laughs> but but back to this. I I feel like this is way too broad because like that's why it's called discourse. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so I I'm like question mark on it. Okay, because like it's good in certain things and then it's bad in certain other aspects. Because like <laughs> yeah, you can learn your forms, but you'll be really stiff and reliant on nothing but tracing. Ex yeah, exactly. That's why it's bad to do that, but good to use references. Yeah. So I'm like, question mark on that, and you're like, no, it's bad. <laughs> it's fucking bad, mate. <laughs> okay. Do this, not that tutorials. I hate these. I, don't buy I hate those. They, they are stupid because it's not always set in stone. Wait, it's where like, are we? We're right here. We're doing the first row. Oh. 
Like he... oh, okay, okay, okay. I was, I was wondering what that was. I was like, X and check mark tutorials. What do yeah. you mean? Yeah, it's one of those do this, don't do this. <laughs> And no, those are fuckers, because, like, you limit yourself completely. Exactly, and sometimes the advice isn't even good, because a lot of the times it's always those stupid-ass, like, you draw males with squares and corners, and you draw women with uh, curvy lines and shit, and it's like, that's not, it's that's not the case. besides the point, though. The, I know. The point of, like, those ones, like, those specific ones besides, like, the anime ones, question, mm -hmm. quote-unquote anime ones, is that they tend to favor realism or like over a style or like over anything else yeah so when they say do this not this it's very um disheartening to see yeah because it also it perpetuates that realism is like the only type of style that you can do exactly not only that it also leads to even more discourse because all these fucking people that are like okay you do this not that but then they get fucking mad when artists, especially up and coming artists, start doing these tutorials because that's how they learn. That's how they're like finding to to build up their style. And then they follow it. And then all of a sudden you have all these quote unquote professionals going, you can't do this because you're stealing my style and I'm calling the artist police. And it's like, get it's over yourself. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's, a, it's like really, it's really weird. It's really upsetting. And I don't like those tutorials. I hate those fucking tutorials. Gradient so, backgrounds. So we have to... Don't we have to, like, put it? Because that one's a little thing. What, what do you mean, a little thing? Because, uh, like, this is that tutorials. Do we, do we mark it because we like it? Or do we mark it because we hate it? No, I thought it was if we agree with it, we mark it. Oh, okay, okay. Gradient backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... Use, I'm just I gonna... Lot, so. Same. It works, though. It fucking works. Like, I don't see why that that's bad or not. I, it, it's because you have all these fucking purists, like, like how you were once upon a time. Like, you can't do this because you have to do it from scratch. I gotta do it from scratch. And I'm like, Panda, what, there's an easier like way that? to do this. No, I don't think that's what it's talking about though because i think it's just saying the gradient backgrounds like just having a gradient in the background of a character it's like that's nothing wrong with that Th there's nice. yeah there's nothing wrong with it either like if it's just a gradient like i don't mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it it's like if you mm -hmm. have to put something to make your doodle or something pop out then go for it <laughs> who fucking <Yeah>. cares <laughs> web comics versus print comics hmm why? They're both comics. They're both comics. What the fuck? Who, who is comics. fighting about this? Fuck you people. <laughs> I hate Twitter you know so what, fucking you, much. You know, oh. Like when should have been the thing though? What? But it should have been uh, uh, web comics versus TV shows. Because <laughs> a lot of TV shows now should have just been web comics. Right? Like Jesus <laughs> Christ. <Steven Universe. laughs> uh, I, I don't even know what the fucking discourse about this is. Yeah, I actually don't know either, so we're gonna Same. That. I don't agree with it. If I, there's anything, I think they're both good because, you know They're they're like both a, like a mate. They're both You're just medium. mad because you can't get the print comics for free. Legit. <laughs> no no no. Here's my favorite thing. There was a thing that I saw recently that there is a discourse that people are upset that web comics or at least older web comics were in the form of like you know, pages. And it was mm -hmm. like, you click one page, next page, or you go to the archive to like see what page you, yeah. you missed on. People are getting pissed now because Webtoon and like uh, the, the the scroll down kind of fucking, uh, uh, okay. what do you call it? Like, you know, like how Webtoon and Tapas, they fucking put the, they, they make it like episodic and you scroll down one long fucking strip, essentially. Okay. People are, are getting mad at that because it's not like that. It's Why? like, ugh, I have to click to go to the next page. Oh my god, wow. And it's like, <laughs> you are <laughs> both pretty good. I know. Because like on one, one of them, I can stop wherever I want and come back to that <laughs> same page. And on the other one, I don't have to click. It's like, it's fine either way, but I am so mm. upset that a bunch of like these, and especially like all these fucking zygotes that are like, like, ugh, I have to click to go to the next page. I don't like this anymore. Ugh, I have to do work. And it's like, it's called reading, you dumbass. Just click, just turn the damn page. You're fine. And if you scroll, that's fine too. It's fine. 
it, it's to not be a bitch about it. legit. <laughs> be nerd. It was so okay, disheartening. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that one because I think both comics and web comics are pretty good, and people who are mad about either or is. Oh my god, I think they, they're just mad. Like, if, if people are for webcomics and against the print ones, I think they're just mad they can't afford the print ones. Of course, because be it's almost like, and if wow. <laughs> and if it's the other way around, I'm not sure why. I think it's the people that say that the print comics are better because it's a physical copy, which, in all honesty, fair. It's like, I would and like... I, I kind of urge the webcomic people eventually to do, like print yeah a print, a print version because i would like a print version of web comics to legit be honest, to be fair. because guess what but i know it's hard uh, yeah it's hard but at, at the same time it's also like guess what the your fucking digital thing is like very limited print is forever like ugh. yeah and like if you have the audience for it and they really like your comic uh, you'll be surprised how many will want a physical copy even if they have already read all your pages legit like, like, especially if anyone is like out there is like doing their web comic or whatever. Take, see if you can like set aside or like. I've seen, um, especially the one that I was um, reading recently. It's um, uh, uh, Sakana, and they started as a web comic, but every time they wanted to do a print because the fans were asking for print, they did a Kickstarter, and lo and behold, they got it funded and they got it printed. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So. so I don't agree. I think these they're both really nice. Yeah, and... fuck these people. And fuck you if you if you like argue web versus print. Fuck you. Go we're, take a short we're... walk off a cliff. Oh my god. We're not going to argue with you. We're going to argue with each other. So that's fine. <laughs> that's um, fine. Sharing resources and brushes. I'm going to throttle someone. I like I don't care about it. What? What's the sharing... problem? I mean, like, if you made your own brushes and you don't want to share your brushes, that's fine, because that, you made them. Yeah. But um, if you got it from somewhere, you might as well point it where you got it. Yeah. Because, sure. like, that, that, because if the, the person that makes the brush that you're using is actually selling the brush, it brings more help to them. Yeah. To get that the brush. I, see, I wouldn't mind, like, saying, like, where I got my brushes or whatever. And especially if I paid for them, I'll just, like, point it into the direction because, yeah. yeah, like how you said, more than likely that person is making money off their own made brushes. So it's like... Exactly. And, um, like, I don't think you should share the files if, it, if it's payable because that would be rude to the artist that made your brush. Yeah. But if it's free, you might as well just share it. Exactly. I'm sure the source. But uh, sharing resources. That... But it's, a, it's also one of those things where... Um, what is it called? It doesn't matter the tool that you have. It how, it's how you use it. Kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, so some like of... You can have all these brushes in your arsenal and still be really bad. <laughs> essentially yeah because like in the end how you use yeah in the end how you use it is is essentially what makes the quality of the work because like you can mm -hmm. find like all these textured brushes or whatever but at the same time if you don't know how to use them then uh, i'm sorry <laughs> like i've i've tried i've tried the whole like oh i have to get these brushes so i can be as profession it's like it doesn't work out if i don't have the skill to use them yeah. Yeah. You could just be like me and just use all the brushes. <laughs> I mean, I kind of do, but like in no, the end, I, I like I stick to a few. I use, how I use my brushes is just I just layer them after layer them. Uh huh. <laughs> and not to mention, like some of the, t like, it's just a matter of finding your fit because, like, if you right fall for you, yeah, it's, if you fall back so, on, I guess we put a little dot there because we do agree with sharing resource brushes. Okay. So, eh. And, eh. Eh. and it's also like when when it says resources, I think of like either tutorials or methods or trades of like how to do a certain thing with drawing or whatever. And if people withhold that or like I don't know, if if they're being like a really if they're being jackassy about it, like no, I can't tell you my things because it's trade secrets or whatever, and it's like calm down. I'm not it's gonna, I'm not gonna pick. Oh, welcome back, Pumble. I'm not gonna pick fights with Arcana fans. Those people are crazy. 
<laughs> it's, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if they get mad, if they get mad at this shit, I'm going to point them out to the direction of them whining about what fucking brush Donna Rune used for the for the character art. So eat shit if they get mad about that. <laughs> it's, it's not even a brush; it's just a overlay. <laughs> no, it's it's a brush and an overlay, like. Oh, uh, shit. It's like, we've got the overlay, it's just a standard thing that you can get in Clip Studio. Mm-hmm. I, I got the brush for it, and I'm like, oh, it, it, yeah, I got the brush, but it's not, I don't know, it's not for me. I, I, I tried yeah. it before, I but was, like... I like my grease pencil brush, to be honest. Same. But, okay. Yeah! Oh my god, the, the amount of, the Bass Art was like bombarded with like, How do you do this? Really? What brushes you use? This, 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 and this. And it's like, calm down, you can like just Google it, uh, you know? Just, yeah, I, I think the devs released what they used, didn't they? Yeah, it was the devs that used it. Like, Donna Rune released like what she wanted to, what she used for uh, the CGs and everything. And it's like, mm. hmm. So it's like, yeah. It's, yeah, it's abysmal. It, yeah. It's like all the people, like, they just want to uh, replicate the style instead of just having the thing to, like, do their own thing. Exactly. You know I mean? That's my, that's my gripe, though. <laughs> uh, traditional versus digital. No. Uh, I don't agree with it anymore. No, ne neither is superior than the other. They, but if you're good mm -hmm. at one, you you just like if you're good at one or the other, it's it's fine. The Doesn't... only one that I do have a discourse with is when people hold art contests and they put a disclaimer saying that they want uh, they're looking for digital over traditional. Is when I have a gripe. Mm. Because then it's like you're eliminating people that do not have a tablet. Essentially, yeah. But want to try to do the the contest anyway. Like, don't be a bitch about it. You take everything or none at all. Legit. I would have even been like... <laughs> I would just and scan that shit in and call it, Hey, I did it digitally. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's like the reasoning was it's because digital is crisper than traditional. No, 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 It's no, like, no, no, no. excuse you. No, no, fuck you. I will fight You're you. You're just an asshole. It, legit, because like even like a lot of like digital stuff is not as like fully rendered or nicely rendered as traditional and vice versa. Yeah. And it's so it's, 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 it's one of those, I have a question mark on there because it depends on what you're talking about. Because, like, I will fight people. But th that's the funny thing, too, because it's like, no, we don't want traditional, we want digital because it's crisper. Okay, then why the fuck is digital trying so hard to copy traditional? Right? <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Alas. Fiction equals e author condones behavior. Disagree. Disagree. That's so dumb. This is now. This is where we're gonna <laughs> piss off a this lot is of where we're piss off a lot of people. <laughs> hey, no good vibes only. I, I will. I will put a question mark here because I don't. like. I don't agree that like author condones behavior, but in some instances, people do take it too far. Where it's like your true colors are showing. Calm the fuck down, okay? And it's, I don't agree. <laughs> I'll, I'm just putting it there because I have seen people like, um, especially like abusers and like the like, of course, like the really Which sus one? people. Oh, it, the sus one, yeah. That's yeah, right. the sus people that they take like, oh, it's just fiction. It's like I don't know, my dude. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, right, uh, so I have yeah. a half a question mark there. You could just put a squiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play. That's why we stand this <laughs> They want to boogie with the beetles. They're gonna, they're gonna dance with the I bugs. Just want beetle pets. <laughs> they're gonna dance with the bugs like in the house animation. Yeah, you're, you're, you're correct. I condone the plague. <laughs> Everything what was the... good. He did nothing wrong. What the fuck is this? Gray versus what? color. Grave? Oh, that's, uh, that's, I think that's when everybody decided to do, like, the tutorials where you did the grayscale first and then laid color on top of it in an overlay. Oh. That's what I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's not. 
<laughs> no, that ar that argument is too smart for these people. <laughs> okay, so it, then it's probably coloring your art versus not coloring your art. <sighs> We're gonna take it like that then. The okay. Coloring your art versus not coloring your art. Okay. Which, if any of them are better, none of them. They're both pretty good. The, yeah, it's like it just depends on the subject. Like I don't know why one would be better over the other. Okay, okay, okay. That is artists who think painting is gray scale first and then coloring is equally valid to so just painting with color right away. Yeah, that's what that's what they're talking about. Oh, okay. Which if you wanna be fast, I guess gray scale and then laying the color on top is fine, but in my opinion it kinda looks a little dingy. Because the, the color, like the color you overlay on top, gets warped. Yeah, it. But that's also because like some people know how to use gradient maps, so yeah, then yeah. that's that's another thing. But it, if they're it, it's doing, it's one of those. Sorry, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, because <laughs> there there is a way to do that, and the yeah. the doing the grayscale first, and then doing a gradient map, and that replaces yeah. the values with the color. And yeah, then yeah. if the people are doing the overlay, then that's probably a different way i mean who knows maybe yeah, that's their because style that's how, that's how some of the professionals actually did tutorials about where they said okay now you do own overlay and then you put the color down and it's like that's nice and everything but it turns the color darker than it is yeah because i'm pretty sure they haven't learned gradient maps like i did because mm -hmm. i thought it was overlay for the longest too <laughs> and still <laughs> until i saw someone like okay now you go to your gradient map but i'm like the what yeah <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> And like honestly, I I've done it before like that too in like my my beginner years where I did grayscale and then did the color, but I never liked how it came out. Mm -hmm. So I always do colors straight away. Yeah, it, I did that with pastels once too, where we were told to do like the oh do your thing in graphite and or charcoal first and then put pastels over it. And I'm no, like, you huh? Like that's that's kind of different because the pastel is not going to be fucked with too much but true very but true. if you do like an overlay you're you're gonna mess up your colors yeah because they're they're gonna be muddied because of the yeah, black underneath so it's like, like it's, it's different with traditional because in painting you're supposed to start the underpainting with a brown color a warm brown tone or the umbra yeah brown or one of those browns and then you paint on top and it makes the colors pop out more there you now, go. with digital art it doesn't do that nope. it doesn't have that effect so you have to actually like do the actual tools to make it brighter or darker and when you do gray scale first and you just do the overlay it's a little bum because mm -hmm. you have to like continue to work on the piece more so than if you did it with just straight up color. Exactly. Now, if you do the gradient map, it it'll probably be like the exact same workout a lot better. But I think it's just double the work, and so that's why I just do color first. <laughs> <laughs> Fair <laughs> why enough. Would I want, why would I want to? I guess it's just if you depending on your workflow. That's that's all it is. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. like Bumble says, that's literally how the League of Legends people do it. So it's like, yeah, that 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 is how professionals ha that I've seen, like, especially on, like, how <laughs> Bumble said it too, stares at art station. Like, literally, that's all the professionals know how to do. It's the gradient map thing. So yeah. it, I don't mind either way. It's whatever how, how you do your workflow, essentially. So th th fuck that square. <laughs> yeah. Um... Big titty women characters equal bad. They do I dis not. I disagree. I, it it I depends. Disagree. It depends how she's written. That's the only bad thing. But sadly, nine times out of I don't ten, care. She I don't think they're bad. <laughs> but, but like, it's one of those. It's it depends. I'll put a. I was like, but that's also because I'm a pit up artist, so I don't really like shit. <laughs> it, yeah. But but you write your characters like really well. Uh, everyone else that does this kind of stuff, it's like mm, I'll I'll be I'll put a question mark. But I disagree with it overall. Inktober angst. Which one? The third row first first square. Inktober angst. Inktober angst. What do you mean? What is it do the you actual? Mean? <laughs> is it the actual company? Because the actual company is kind of bad. Yeah, the the company is bad. Um, I agree? Question mark? Uh, you want a question mark? 
Yeah, I'll put a question mark because I, I don't know what it's asking me to do. Yeah, cause unless it means like every artist ever has to participate in Inktober or some type of October challenge or whatever. We, we've tried that <laughs> and we always, uh, <laughs> we've, we don't make it past the first week. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what that, what that is saying. You gotta elaborate for me. Don't like, don't read. I wholeheartedly agree with this thing, and I'm sure you do too. So let's get that out of the water. <laughs> Free space. Bad Free art space. is bad for portfolios. No, it fucking isn't. It's bad if you think it's bad. Well, it's technically, it's bad if you're applying for something that has nothing to do with the illustration. Uh, mm. Technically. And sometimes schools will not want to see fan art in your portfolios. Of course, because it's it's one of those, like, uh, you gotta come up with your own ideas or whatever. But, like, have you seen some of the fan art that people do? Like, well, yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, it should be in portfolios for certain things. But, but if you're applying for a school and they don't want to see that in your portfolio and they want to see like a variety of stuff it's in it's nice to include like one but not have all of it as your Go portfolio gotcha yeah that's true if it's a requirement and if they don't want to see it then yeah that's because uh, like i know when i started in my school they did not want to see anime at all mm -hmm. especially with mine that they really wanted more like a not realism not realism but um what do you call it they wanted to see a variety for when I uh, applied to Ringling or whatever. Yeah, but fuck Ringling anyways. So you want a question mark for this one? <laughs> what that one? Yeah. No, I, I don't want to question mark it because I don't think it's bad for portfolios. It just Same. depends on what portfolio you're doing. True. So brings us to our next. Anime style is bad. No, I was bullied for that shit. Let, let's people fuck off. <laughs> yeah, people can fuck off. This is this is like your. Uh, your more traditional artist pr teacher or professor that is a little disgruntled and just doesn't like new things essentially because I was told over and over again don't draw like this because it's not it, it'll it, it won't get you anywhere and meanwhile you have famous people all over buying merch of like anime shit and I'm like hmm Hmm. Oh, it's true, it's true, but, like, I understand where they're coming from because they want to teach you, like, the basics, basics. Yeah. So it's like, anatomy style is not bad, but if you want to learn, like, anatomy and all that stuff, you can't draw in anime. Yeah. That's, Just yet. That's the only time I will agree with them because, like, yeah, anime is, the style is not necessarily bad, but learn your basics first, especially for any new artist that is watching this. Learn your basics first and learn your, learn from life first, essentially. You can still learn uh, from styles. Or be panda and don't. <laughs> <laughs> or like but that's what i'm saying you still like you you still like did your own stuff and still learned anatomy beforehand is yeah. a thing yeah yeah i did i didn't know anatomy and you still like incorporate it into your style that's the good thing about it because like if you go like straight up anime style and not bothering to learn the basics or any anatomy whatsoever your style mm -hmm. is gonna look bunk i'm sorry <laughs> Especially if you want to be like all like these uh big mangakas or whatever that you look up to, they had to learn from somewhere first. So it's like, no anime that's style. That's debatable. That's debatable because some people actually have a style that looks. <laughs> True, but I'm talking about like people like the like the Death Note mangaka or the oh, the, okay. the the ones with the aesthetics. Yeah, or or even like like even the 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 Demon Slayer one is a little bunk in the manga, but it's still like you can still see that there's form in the characters mm -hmm. and in the setting and stuff. So it's like learn learn your basics first. That's that's all I'm saying. The anime style is not bad. Just learn your basics. Oh yeah, purity police. What is purity police? Because I will fight. I, I already will fight someone. Just, the purity just sent me into in, into monkey rage. <laughs> fight her. <laughs> fight or flight mode just activated. What is purity police? What is purity police? Does anyone know that? Yeah, I don't know that one. Is is it these fucking idiots that are like um? Uh, Watch your profanity. Watch your profanity. Um, but no, that's essentially what it is. 
that's what I'm thinking it is. Like, all these purity police that are like, you can't draw negative things, you can't draw blood, you can't draw gore, you can't draw dark themes or whatever. Think only happy thoughts, that fucking neg- like, that negative positivity. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that either. I don't like them, and I am not a purity police, so I don't want to touch that. So, yeah, I'm not touching that, because <laughs> anything- fuck cops, and fuck purity police, so... <laughs> This is like um this is like the really weird random bingo though because like it's like they put things on the same square for some reason. Right? Like the fan art equals bad and then anime style equals bad and then the I don't know. It's just the fully so rendered like, doodle. I don't, I don't know what purity police is, and then there's the fully rendered doodle. What what's that about? I, I think it's those that are it's, like uh, the ones that are like. Are they uh, mad that when people do a doodle and it's just a fully rendered doodle? Because of skill or something? And it's like, I just doodled. I really think that's just like somebody talking. It's not really like a thing to be mad about. I know. that That's just butthurt because you're being mad at your own insecurities. I don't know how else to tell you that. <laughs> Because, like, yeah, some people are like, um, like, I remember one idiot got mad that it's like, Ugh, you can't call this a doodle because it's so fully rendered and, and it's, it's like, it has shadows and this, this, and this, and it's so nice. And it's like, okay, but calm down. I, it is a doodle to me because I didn't work so hard on it. <laughs> Basically, yeah. The fully rendered doodle. Just, I, I guess you were clicking on it? Because, like, I agree with the fully rendered doodle. Fuck it. I don't... Let them be fully rendered doodle. Sure. Our school isn't for everyone. I agree. I... I'm on the fence about that. Because I think it is for everyone. It's just one of those... It depends on which school you go into. Yeah, it is like it, I, I learned a bunch going into my school, but that's because I went the traditional art route and not like the the one that you did. Yeah. Well, technically, it's like I back did this full class so much. And technically, a lot of schools are starting with like um, the computer classes as well. It, yeah. Also, welcome back, Bumble. But um. When, when it says art school, like, I'm thinking of art school TM that is strictly within the arts. And saying that it isn't for everyone is because of, like, maybe you have, um, like, registration restrictions or you have uh, financial troubles, which is okay. what happened with that, me. That's, that's yeah. fair. All right. So it, it isn't for everyone mostly because of that like if you feel bad like you shouldn't feel bad if you can't go to an art school yeah because you can't like afford it or you can't go to one of the great schools tm because yeah. technically a, a, an art school at your community college or a, a closer college is just as good exactly if not way better than the ones that everybody raves about that's what not, i mean yeah not to mention this could also be a meaning of it's not for everyone and the fact that art schools are also very cutthroat and uh, that yeah, yeah, there's two. yeah and that is very not for everyone if you are not a yeah. person who is like there to treat your fellow classmates and friends as competition or if like you're not prepared to have a very biased professor then yeah it's or not for very you very rude classmates that it, like to rag on your artwork no matter what exactly then it, you de it's definitely not for you yeah it's it's one of those like for sure and 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 it's also like so it's, some... it's like yeah art school in that sense it's not for everyone yeah and maybe you, you don't actually want to be in an art school and that's fine too and you want to like do folk art or like you want to teach yourself that's also good too exactly and it's like i i will t i will say you're gonna mark what, me what do you oh you want to you want it marked yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> your group yeah. are like 90 percent. yeah <clears throat> like yeah the the fuck the rude yeah I, people. I have rude classmates too that they were they were like the high and mighty ones yeah that i i drew i drew better so yours is automatically bad i had a i had a i had my portfolio class for my senior year and i hated this one dude that thought he was just like higher than everyone because we 
I, I love my professor and I love my other classmates. The problem was with this guy is that we had like a uh, quote unquote anonymous like uh, like scorecards for everyone when we would um, turn in our projects and like uh -huh. sh and like present our projects or like uh, portfolio stuff or whatever. And I remember mm -hmm. this fucker kept giving me zeros for everything because he just didn't like what I did. And oh, I know. And I'm like, the fuck is your problem? And like, thank God it didn't even count toward your grade, but that was still very fucking rude. So it's like, uh, oh, fuck you. Yeah. I hope you hope you're somewhere in a ditch or something. <laughs> no. Uh, Cal Arts Tumblr style. Ugh. Speaking of not liking things, <laughs> I, I don't like the Tumblr style. This is really weird because the Cal Arts people say Cal Arts and they think of Steven Universe and like the it's the stupid. half moon. Like, technically, they didn't even go to Cal Arts, but I think it's the actual like style style of the of the things. Like if you have that style, they'll automatically assume you went to Cal Arts. Yeah. Or like just like I don't know. They're trying to because copy like it. The, that's used that like the, the current style for animation is like really very easy bubbly. to replicate and publicate and Yeah. But here's the thing with Tumblr style. Tumblr style <laughs> Tumblr style is on its own. That, yeah, Tumblr style is on its own and it evolves. Because once upon a time, before Steven Universe was ever a fucking thing, and before everyone and their mother started trying to copy the style of that, everyone did like the kind of like oh nose? yeah the 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 <laughs> shape nose like the the katamari nose or like the the over the garden wall noses no, where no, was it, yeah it was the cold nose where everybody was perpetually um they perpetually had like a reddish nose yeah it was like a triangle and nose and it was like off color from the skin that was like the flag that you waved around in your art style, if you wanted people to know you were from Tumblr, because if you had that style, you were more than likely from Tumblr. Right? Which is really weird in of itself. I was like, how is that? Okay, sure. Why not? But yeah. yeah now, but it's, now it's other things, but it, yeah, <laughs> because things that I don't want to get into. It was because now it's either you copy a Disney style or a um, no, or the there's or other the things. There's other things, but no, I'm not going to talk about it. True. Until yeah. later. Until later. <laughs> Until later. And then I'll tell you, Kelly. But <laughs> so it's like I hate this. So I hate both things. So it's like. Eh. Cause like I, 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 I hate both things. Cause like I've seen artists on Tumblr and like I love a lot of like especially the ones oh, that yeah, are yeah yeah it's the I've ones that f ones. yeah it's the fandom ones that follow the crowd essentially and then they copy mm -hmm. styles or whatever but yeah um, uh, I have other things I have other things <laughs> yeah <laughs> not, not safe for word arc equals bad no that's a that's a fine line right there because it's not bad but there's also some things that should be bad yeah it's overall i think the generic thing of it is not bad but when we get to more nuanced situations and stuff then i will consider it bad but yeah. but overall i think it's not bad as like as are like we supposed a... to mark these if we hate them or do we agree with the boxes because some of these are just like this and then they don't explain. <laughs> I know, but um, if we agree with it, I, I tack it on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one then, because I'm not gonna talk about not safe for work. <laughs> Using people does not equal networking. It doesn't? Question mark. It doesn't equal networking. Using people does not equal networking. Agreed. Does not equal. I agree, uh, but also there are some people that network, quote unquote, network, and they're just using people. So technically, it goes hand in hand sometimes. Yeah. So, do we tack that on? I will put a question mark because it depends on the thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put a because, question like, mark. Like I've too. seen some people who use larger accounts for networking, and then I've seen some younger people with no uh, following use a bunch of people to network, and then once they get famous, they ditch all their friends. Of course, just like uh, the one fucking idiot that we dealt with. Uh, so what yeah. did Bumble say? The people arguing on Tumblr that the porn ban is valid because if you're drawing not safe work, then it's just porn, and they should argue point doesn't 
have our to well see that's the problem with it too because the like that people are gonna tell me is that the porn band was valid because if you're drawing and it's just porn and they would that they, they, they are fucking not valid at yeah, all they're because not. technically it is a style of art it's called pinup work yep not all of it is considered pinup work but it's pinup work and and sometimes like you can be an artist but then you can't draw not safe for work for shit but you can like it, it so it's like it's not true because like having this type of uh, work requires skill and it does have artistic value a lot like a lot of the and the artists that i follow the no, what anatomy know how exactly but like even even not safe for work is has artistic value in of itself because of how they portray the intimacy too or like how they portray it as well and i and like, it's like they're not putting it up like for shits and giggles either because like well that technically they are but a lot of it has like really nice lighting or texture yeah or... and a lot of meaning and feeling behind it too and i'm like wow this is amazing <laughs> like i'm odd at like at, at some like, of the I'm work that i see that there isn't there isn't art that's like sassy baka oh of course of course because like there is a shitload of it that i really do not want to relive actually accidentally seeing on my front page of fur affinity but <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it, it's 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 in the. But it's, it's got its that. own merits. It's not bad, but it's also like some of it's not good either. It, you it's, just have to like. It's nuanced. It depends on the situation, and it depends yeah, on it the depends artwork. On the situation. But people who say that, yeah, everybody, it's it's good because of this. It, they're just lying to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they're just lying to themselves. They already like are trying to get past the devastation phase and are trying to accept their fate <laughs> even though we all know they all went to tum to, to twitter to it's look a for the same things right Jesus. sip my coffee <laughs> 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 that's my tea for you <laughs> that's the that on that what is spec Something work spec um spec work and exposure Spec work? Spec? <laughs> Prospect? Um, exposure. Well, first off, I will throttle you if you come up to me and be like, I will pay you an exposure. I will throttle I will you on end site. You. <laughs> I will end you. I will you manifest in your house and, like, beat the shit out of you. Because <laughs> we all know that doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work, and, like, ugh. Like, we all know it doesn't work, so... Mind your manners, so I'll mind them for you. This is why I... This is why I hate, like, the the cold open, like... Like, especially when I have, like, relatives like, Hey, I have someone that needs this done. Can you do it for them? I'm like, they're gonna get an invoice first before they see any fucking work. That's for damn sure. Yeah, basically. Which leads us to commission prices. <laughs> what the fuck does this mean? Why are they so uh, broad? <laughs> why are they so vague? No, the commission prices is the the charging what you think you're worth and charging a dollar. Like cheap prices versus expensive commission prices. Okay, now see, this is where I have my beef with like all these fucking people that are like, I'm just trying to help. You need to uh, raise your prices or whatever, or this, this, and this, so that way you can get m more people to do your stuff or, or like to pay you or whatever. And it's like, okay. You can just tip, you know? Yeah, you can literally just tip. But you're not gonna. What? I'm, trying to... I'm getting so mad because I really hate these fucking people that are like, um, that are like, I'm only trying like, to help that you should raise your like, prices. It's... I, I agree that you should charge like what you're worth and everything. Yeah. But it, it's one of those like. I don't want you to come into my space saying you should charge more. That's none of your concern. What it's I legit. charge for my stuff. And if you feel bad that we that artists are undercharging themselves, it's like you're not you fucking helping by nagging at them and waving a finger in front of them. How about you fucking like tip them if you feel so fucking bad? Cuz right now exactly. you're just showing you're proving to me that you're an asshole. Yeah, cuz and and it's like I don't know. I I have like problems with my commission prices anyway. 
Because like I ch I charge cheaper when I shouldn't really, but I still get no work anyway. So, and it's it's just disheartening <laughs> for me to see too because it's like a because then you you're the one that says like um that like oh that I'm charging this because like I don't even get any follow like any any takers or whatever, and it's like yeah. when and then when people tell you like raise your prices then so people can like but then you have all these other assholes that are like you charge too much you should charge cheaper because exactly. I can't afford it and it's like fuck off exactly and i've i've had both in my dms to be honest i'm gonna throttle these people bumble and it... <laughs> what is your story i'm so sorry <laughs> but go, no 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 first panda finish your thing finish your thing for what no you were about to say something and i cut you off on accident <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's because like I charge what I charge because like I don't have that following or that namesake to carry me. Yeah. And I charge what I charge and like I've had both in my uh my DM saying that I charge too much and I should charge less and like I charge too little and I should charge more. And it's like, well, what can I do? It's the, the it's the namesake that really carries you cuz like if I was more well known, technically i could charge whatever i want because you can technically see it in like crafters and stuff yeah where they they charge like an arm and a leg for an anything that they make is because they are well known yeah and that in of itself is also due to like because like when people when people say that when you charge too low and it's like yeah it brings in more people but then it also mm -hmm. brings in more people to take advantage of you and exactly. Yeah. So the reason why oh, <laughs> I like, don't have that problem. <laughs> no, because Panda knows her shit. <laughs> she will slap you if she like even catches a whiff of you trying to take advantage of her. I tell I tell you to fuck right off. <laughs> uh, Bumble, what is your story? <laughs> or if you're typing it, I'll be I'll I'll continue I don't even with my hesitate to <laughs> tell you to fuck right off. Legit. Like, what was it? I was about to say something, but... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back onto, like, the reason why people, like, charge so much is because they'll... They can't probably do as fast as the work. It's just one person doing the work. So, of course, they raise their prices because now the labor... F the, the price fits the labor. And oh, yeah. you're, you're not gonna be overworked and burnt out for pennies, essentially. Yeah. Which technically, I should change my prices how we hire so that. To it, favorite girl. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna copy yours because like mine are about that same area. Because for an illustration, it's 150, and that's the, technically the same as yours. The shit. Like, go ahead, go ahead and copy the prices if you want. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm like... gonna. Yeah, it, it's because like for just a character with no background, I charge very little. But I also charge extra if you want fucking clothes on it. <laughs> <You're bleak>. <laughs> 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 it's true because if you want me to design clothes or put clothes on it, that's extra because I have to do more work. Uh huh. Also, okay, hold on. I'm gonna read a. Uh, what is Bumble? Yeah, read it because like I'm, I'm picking up my stuff from the floor. <laughs> it's, okay. Read it out loud. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's like a dude in our class commissioned my friend for an art piece. So they confirmed it. He sends the money, and only after he does, he randomly DMs her in Discord and is like, "Um, actually, you know, if you charge your commission prices higher, you get more commissions. I'm just saying." And it's like, Defu <laughs> yeah, doesn't tip. And then he said, and then he's like watching her make it in stream and doesn't say anything even after she's asking him if it looks good. But like only after she finishes, he's gonna. He, he goes to commission another friend in our class and complains to him, like, Teehee, I'm getting a commission from you because ITK, the last chick, didn't draw it good. And I'm like, fuck this guy. Fuck oh him. Oh my god, fuck that guy. I hope a bus runs him over. <laughs> I hope he steps on the Lego. <laughs> <laughs> the duality I of <laughs> I don't wish for death on anybody. I just hope they step on Legos. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> so he he chose death. He deserves death. <laughs> he chose violence. He chose the Lego. <laughs> but like, f yeah, fuck that person. No, like, no, fuck that guy. Especially like, if 
sorry go ahead go ahead <laughs> it's it's one of those especially if like artists have a thing where if you don't like it just fucking tell them legit because we're not fucking mind readers this is why i always ask questions and i'm always like letting my commissioners know i'm like please let me know if it looks good because if it doesn't i will change it for you this is not my piece i'm not a mind reader you have to tell me how to do these things because it's like if you leave out little details oh. or whatever and I'll then like back. go go for yeah, it me to turn on his computer hold on <laughs> go for it. it's like I, I hate these people so fucking much it's like uh, don't commission someone and then belittle them right after just because like you're the one who didn't want to fucking like speak up and say hey i don't like what you're doing could you do could you change it to this or this fuck you it's like oh my god It's like you are the asshole and apparently the stupid one if you can't fucking like speak up to to like say how you want your commission to look like. It's your money. Why the fuck aren't you like guiding the artist to do how how to do the work? It's like it obsesses me so fucking much. I I will say I have a similar story of like the it's it goes hand in hand with like the oh, I will uh reward you in exposure or whatever. There was this dumbass in high school that w we had our little group. I think we were like in junior or senior year, one of one of the two. But we were known to do like comics and like we do a lot of good like anime and character work or whatever. And here comes this dude he well, I accidentally left my sketchbook in art class one day, and thank God my friend picked it up because so this weirdo was like looking through it, and she's like, "Hey, that's mine," or like saying like that's my friend's or whatever to take it from him, and he's like, "Oh, I need to know who's the artist of that sketchbook or whatever. I need to talk to them or whatever." So he goes and harasses like like start literally starts following her to her own class all the way up to her own class, which is like two buildings away from the high in in the high school, and she's like, "Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you?" She's like, "I need to talk to this person or whatever," and she's like. Like, sure, whatever, just to get her, just to get him off her back. So then she comes and tells me, and then I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? And then apparently he finds, long story short, he finds me. And he's like, I need you to design a character for me and my video game, if you can do that for me. Yeah, creepy. Really fucking creepy. And so he's like, I need you to design a character for me, and, um, and I will pay you handsomely for it, or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's it's all it's all around bad time. So, okay. hello, welcome back. Thank you. I I'm telling the story of like this one stupid ass creep that um, uh, I don't I think I told you it around the time it happened. It was it happened in high school, and that it was a guy that was like tried to so hard to track me in the school that he followed my friend all the way to her own class after <sighs> after art class. And he's oh, like, no. I need to talk to this person because I need them to design a character for me or whatever. So then it was around was the time. Was that it at your, your college or is it high school? High school. High school. I don't remember, but I probably know. <laughs> Go. <laughs> well, was I, it I, the squirrel? No. Was it the so squirrel? That was a different I, guy. I think it was the squirrel. Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> But I'll I'll have to tell you the name. It was um. Hold on, I'm gonna type it in Discord because I don't want to say it all. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> hold on. Okay, but anyways, so this guy is like came up to me and he's like, "I want you oh. to to draw my, <laughs> I want you to draw oh. my character or whatever." And I think um, that was a squirrel. <laughs> It's like, yes, it was. So he's like, and I will pay you handsomely. I'm like, okay, sure. But then... <laughs> use those words? Yeah. And, but then he went around our entire friend group because he started like clicking together that we all hung out with each other and that we were really good with character work and started oh, no. asking them to do the same fucking thing. And I'm like, but wait a minute, if you're telling me to do it or whatever. And he's like, he you said it so, like, I'm, like, I'm sure you can, like, 
like knowing now you can go ahead and commission whatever you want but like for whatever but the way he said it like left a bad taste in my mouth and it's like he's like um what do you call it he's like uh is he uh, shopping he's, around? Yeah, he was like shopping around. He's like, well, I just wanted to make sure that if you didn't do a right or whatever, that I had options. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> Excuse you. Yeah. So not only that, and I'm like, okay, so then what payment are you going to do for, for, for the thing? He's like, no, I'll pay you after my video game becomes really big. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> fuck you. I'm not even doing your fucking thing. Get the fuck out of my class. <laughs> I literally told him, get the fuck out of my class, because it wasn't even his class time. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's abysmal. That they'd actually, like, will try to do that to you. Legit! Also, yes, it, it's like... <laughs> oh my god. It, it's so cr it's so bad, it's so creepy, it's just cringe overall, and it's like... Ugh. Basically, yeah, and even if they weren't... It, they're just using it as an excuse. Legit. It, it's like, I don't fucking care when, if you have X, Y, or Z, or if you're when, um, ABC. We know, like, we, we, we do know that, like, a lot of people will not use that as an excuse to be what they are. Mm-hmm. And that's good. Yeah. But there's also people that'll take advantage. Exactly. And say, you can't do this to me, or try... Or, and stuff like that, and it's like, mm. <laughs> That doesn't give you an excuse to be mean to me and bully me into drawing your stuff. It says I'm the worst dirt. Please forget because I so don't want to call. You can't blame. Now, see, I can blame you because if you are aware of it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're not aware of it. Well, if. If if they're aware of themselves, and no, like, because if they're they legitimately, that, fine. yeah, if they're legitimately saying like I can't help myself because if I do this, this, and this, I'm like, okay, then you are aware of it. So, like, <sighs> I, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's very weird. Like, yeah, yeah I don't like work for exposure. I do not want to do work for exposure because that's basically. Is a lie. Legit, it's a <laughs> fucking say exposure, lie. exposure, but it, it all depends on like their watchers or viewers or whatever. And it's to like, actually like uh, follow through, and it more than likely they will not. Nope. Because they're not there for you. They're there for they're there whatever for company they're you. Yeah, they're there for themselves. So like whatever company you work for, and then like the the people that get it got free art. Exactly. And not to mention, that's all these fuckers are looking when, for, too. When they can technically afford it, they can probably afford it if they have the followers mm -hmm. to afford it. Exactly. That's so like, like the, 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 the... What was it? The, the... That art contest? Oh, yeah! That stupid Billie Eilish and Adobe uh, crossover for her so she could get free art for her album cover. Yeah, so, and it's one of those, you can pay somebody to do that. You don't need a contest. L legit. So I don't know where to stand on commission prices. <laughs> I mean, like... Um, commission prices... I s well, I, th th to be fair, this little bingo card is very vague on commission prices. Yeah. And... I'm for I it. say I'm f like I'm for you could like charging whatever the fuck you feel like it because it's you. Yeah, it's like you if you if you have bills to pay, fucking charge whatever the fuck you want to to meet those bills because like even if you don't have bills to pay, charge whatever the fuck you want. That's it. And if people like you enough, like if they like your art enough, they will come. Mm hmm And they will pay the price just to get them to draw. That's it. And let so fucking lesson learn. If people say pay an exposure or you will be famous or Talent whatever. Talent versus skill. Oh wait, did we do we want to tack this on or not? For what? For commission prices. <laughs> well, I don't even know what it's asking me. I'm just I'm gonna, about it now. I'm gonna go put a question mark for both of us because like I believe in commission prices. I don't believe in assholes telling other people what to charge um Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so Talent versus skill. Uh, that's an iffy subject. Yeah. Because, like, 
you can have a lot of talent and have like shit ass and skill. Mm -hmm. And you can have a lot of skill but shit ass and talent. Essentially. So, it, basically, yeah, because like I'm, I'm trying to remember. Like there was this old, old discourse. You remember, um, you remember Al Jim? Al Jim. There, she had like a whole huge. I think it's she. They had a whole huge discourse on DeviantArt <laughs> way back in the day, and they were extremely talented, like extremely talented. But she never took criticism. They never took criticism. And um, a lot of people tore apart their skill. Oh boy. Because like they, she had like they had talent for like color application and like comicking and character design. But skill base wise, it was a little rough because of anatomy. Oh. And if you pointed it out, they would throw the biggest bitch fit. Oh god. And like that was like the talent versus skill thing. Hmm. Like I, I think I need to show you who Algem is for you to actually like get it. Yeah, because like I'm looking through their stuff right now and I'm like, hmm. hmm. Like they got better now, so it, it's one of those you had to actually look at like the, the really old stuff. I'm also thinking back to fucking um, the like the 2010 kind of people that were famous on DeviantArt like the the fucking the, the teddy bear guy the oh I don't like that guy yeah no fuck that guy but like that that I feel like is another like a talent, talent... versus skill thing yeah cause yeah I, cause he's the one who threw, threw the first stone about that shit too so it's like oh hmm. that's true because he had like that whole comic thing about people not liking his portfolio going to art school yeah. Like he started that stuff and it's like my my guy, my dude, you have the talent for comics, but but <laughs> your character designs are kinda of all over the place and bad. Yeah. They didn't match. <laughs> or you, it, <laughs> Bumble says, Do you mean owl gem or owl lee gem? With a Y. You know, I actually don't uh, even know because that person like um Changed their name a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean they had to because a lot of people were like on their ass. Mm -hmm. So like it it could have been like either or, but I think on DeviantArt it was Algem, but I think they are the same person. Yeah, I recognize the way they draw noses. I think they might be the same person. Yeah, it's the same person, because there's their bug character. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me afterwards, because I'm like... <laughs> yeah, it, exactly, yeah, it's the same person, but, like, back in the heyday, it's when they did that. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they are, like, mellow now, like, they mellowed out. So, like, I wouldn't, like, go after them or anything, but, like, that history is, like, they kept changing names, so I'm surprised that they went back to Algem, like, to their original name, Algem, but I guess it's Algem now. Oh. But they were, like, a bunch of different names beforehand. And I think their, their notorious one was, like, this Naga comic. <gasps> Oh, okay. As soon as as soon as you said that, I it, yeah, yeah, it slapped me in the face comic. like a brick. I know who that you're was, talking about that now. Was, uh, that was the most notorious one back in the day. Like the art was like super pretty, but they had the worst attitude at the time. Yeah. And like they think the, their artwork was like they so they had like self-taught, I think, and they were talented at it. But everybody kept pointing out like some technical skills that they needed to work on, and they didn't like that. It's... And through the hugest fit, and then they had to change their name several times. So it it's one of those like, I mean, on one hand, it's like if if criticism is not asked, don't give it. But also learn to. So this is like when everybody was like politely telling them okay. at first, but first politely saying, I think you should do this because the Nagatel looks lumpy. 
the, yeah okay and then they didn't like that and then the criticism got even worse oh no you see it's how they reacted to it too that made it worse so it's like it's how they reacted to it if they just said thanks okay and then just didn't bother with it nobody would have cared yeah, exactly. but they went off the rails with it and everybody took it as open season hmm. of course and then the t and then that time devian art was like <laughs> way bad so it's like uh, uh, during that time was the super wild west it's so. the, the cesspool of trolling the cesspool and... wild west of trolling so if you even showed a remoteness of weakness you'd get eaten by the piranhas mm -hmm. and that was the only weakness they needed to show and they got their shit kicked in Ugh. and like i feel bad for them but i also kind of a little bit it, it's, uh, it's... I, I still feel bad for them but like it's one of those like uh, you, you should handle have... it better. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, mm. yeah, they had they have a history, and uh, they kept changing their names and stuff for it. I... But like, I'm glad they're still around because that means they didn't let it get to get them down or anything. Yeah, that's good. And they did get better, but I, I can still tell like their art from a mile away because they draw <laughs> the same noses. <sighs> so talent versus skill. Um, because I, I'm guessing it's one of those like which one is better than the other. Yeah, because like I feel like sometimes it goes hand in hand, but there's like ups and downs to both of them because like. You can have the talent to like like oh I'll, I'll make me an example because like I oh, I can draw okay. but when I got into my graphic design thing this the amount of skill I had for it was like super like 